diddly diddly. How are we all doing, folks? It is that magical time of the week that we like to call Thursday. How's everybody doing? It is so wonderful, wonderful, wonderful to be here. It's so lovely to have you here. If this is your first time here, drop us a like. You know, drop us a follow. Whichever, whichever uh, video platform you're watching. Also, massive congratulations, Brazen Coalition Games, for getting first and breaking the streak of tyranny. Obviously, Cryptic slept in and he's not here yet. That's okay. Such is life. But we take the wins when we can get them against the oppression of our mods. Folks, I hope you're all doing well. Kerrick in chat as well. Lovely to have you here. And our fantastic guest... Tom in chat as well with the Friends with Benefits MTG with the Gengar hype. Big fan of Gengar hype. I might steal that. How's everybody's weeks going? Are we good? Are we behaving? Is life treating us well? I've had a really busy week. I'm tired. So I'm going to peak about turn four and then I'm going to rely on looking Dean to carry us. Uh, I've, I've done my shift this week. Ellie Drazzy MTG. Hello. Thank you for the follow. Lovely to have you here. Lovely to be chatting to you this week uh, about a potential guest spot in the near future, folks. Watch this space. Lovely to have you here. So yes, folks, we are Shower Gang EDH. We are a trio of friends that play magic. Sometimes we play good magic, sometimes we play bad magic. But we always have fun and we have the privilege of having some lovely guests joining us every week. And this week, unfortunately, our guest who was scheduled, Mars, we were really looking forward to playing with him. Uh, they are unable to join us. So we've got our wonderful friend Tom, aka Overfiend, aka Friends with Benefits MDG, aka uh, Magic Castle Pod. Oh my god. You too many too many too many names. So Tom has stepped in to help us, so we're gonna be playing some good times magic. We, we, we had a great time last time Tom was here, so really looking forward to having him back. Even if it was last minute. Folks best way to subscribe uh, su subscribers best way to support us is to share our stuff if you're watching live why not why not say hey folks i'm watching shatter gang live you should watch too and if you're on youtube please drop us a like and a wee subscription there would be fantastic and if you want to go a step further you can join our Kofi membership or drop us a prime sub on twitch uh, we are on the road to command fest birmingham uh, which we'll be able to see all of us. I believe Tom is going as well. We'll check that once we bring in the pod. So you're going to be able to see us in person really soon. We're we're attending Command Fest as featured content creators, so we'll have some pretty fun stuff uh, in store. Looking forward to re revealing that. We've been working quite diligently in the background for some fun content. And then we will be in Magicon Amsterdam at the end of June. So a couple of months yet, but we're excited for that. And we've got some pretty fun stuff planned for that too. Folks, I have talked a lot, a lot. And I think it's probably about time that we bring in the pod now that we've done the housekeeping and said hello, everybody. How's that sound? Hello, pod. How's everybody? Hello, hello everybody. everybody. <coughs> Hope you're well. <laughs> Dean, Dean getting charged up on the hashtag not sponsored energy drink. Yeah. Oh, one day. <laughs> that way we know we've made it. We get approached by energy companies. Yes. So yes, Tom, thank you so much for joining us at the last minute. I was I was bigging you up with your many project links and whatnot, and I'm sure you can tell us all about it when you get a chance. How are you? Are you doing well, Tom? I am good. I'm tired, but I'm good. Um, and happy to be here. So yeah, that's a fine time. Be, being in your thirties is kind of like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Only just. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm at the other side of it. Let's so, not get into uh, that. <laughs> what, well, Dean? Look, how are you guys doing? You having a good week? Yeah, not bad. That's not right. bad. Can't complain. Yeah. Had worse. <laughs> I've had, I've had so Friday. much worse. <laughs> but this has been a week, I'll tell you that much. Fab. So, folks, we are in for quite a. Well, this is, a, again, unplanned stream. Tom's in to save us like an absolute hero. So I need to remember and give you the stream savior role on Discord when I get a second. Yeah, we, yeah. Like, we, we, we are, we're achievement grinders, you know? You do stuff for us, <laughs> you get uh, thankless roles in, in Discord. Oh, you shouldn't have told me that now. 
Oh, there's 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 weekend. a directory. Oh, honestly, there's loads of there's there's ways to collect them. And if you play with us in person, there's a, an in person only one. So I'll be getting that. Yeah, yeah. You can shatter the shatter gang. Uh, <laughs> spoiler alert for what we may be doing in uh, Birmingham and uh, in Amsterdam. Look at all these handsome faces. Oh, Amy. Look at you being nice to us. You don't even know someone's playing mono white tonight. <laughs> She's so nice to us. But yes, we are going to be playing some magic. So let us jump to spell table and have a look at what's in store. We're not on turn 13, Barry. We're on turn 1. There we go. So would you believe it? Dean did not roll first this week. It was I! <laughs> Little me in the top left. So I'll start today. So hi folks. I'm Baz, if you're new here. I'm playing Flame War. My friend Josh made me this deck. And I have not had a chance to play it. Uh, and I'm deciding tonight's the night. So Flame War is one of the universes beyond. So sorry if you folk don't like them. I really like them. Big Transformers nerd. Uh, she is a legendary artifact creature robot with an alternative casting cost of more than meets the eyes for a black and a red. So it's got a reverse side. Uh, and it cares about sacrificing artifacts. And when I sacrifice ar artifacts with Flame War, uh, I create uh, discard, exile piles of cards, face down piles of cards, I should add. So there's a little bit of a gamble. And then there's an activated ability for uh, replacing my hand with the exiled pile. So uh, what's worth noting is the cards are exiled with intel counters so they go into the public zone of exile with counters and flame war doesn't uh, so if flame war's removed it doesn't matter there's still intel counters in exile so uh, that's worth noting if you think that's that that's potentially a way of stopping the shenanigans so yeah we're on we're in rakdos artifact sacrifice our aristocrats tonight uh, should be fun I've had a flick through the deck, it's pretty good. It is a £20 deck, so it is very much a budget deck, which is interesting coming off the back of playing Popper this month as well. So, looking forward to it. Although, so, uh, Sarah, how are you doing on YouTube? Hope you're doing well. And on that, I'll pass to Dean. What are you playing tonight? I am playing Old Man Willow. Uh, I bought this deck for £40 off of somebody. I've not had a chance to upgrade it yet. It's still not in the sleeves, so... Wow, that's loud. <laughs> <laughs> For all those people with their headphones on, you're welcome. Uh, 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 thanks very much. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, old Man Willow's power and toughness are equal to the number of lands you control. And whenever it attacks, I can sacrifice another creature, and an opponent's creatures can uh, control get negative to negative. So, it's a very combat -y deck. Lots of lands, lots of ramp, hopefully. Hopefully. hopefully more than one. Hopefully more than one land by turn eight this week. Oh, please, <laughs> I, I want that for you so much. <laughs> no, I don't. It's good. I mean, it well, I can, quite well. I, can, I can guarantee it's going to be more than one land. Why you cheating? Unless some, <laughs> unless somebody's got, unless you've got like a turn one wheel, but <laughs> uh, you don't know why I kept. No, this deck is not. That's not this deck. Very exciting. And what about you, Luke? What are you on tonight? Uh, I'm playing my old Elish Norn deck, which we just want to create incu incubate tokens, turn them into Phyrexians, and like Dean just punch face. If things are going wrong, we can also cast the Elish Norn and activate the Sargo, the enchantment side, to wipe the board and things and just slow everything down. I powered it down from what it was before, so a lot of the fast mana and tutors and stuff are out of it, so it's just, just a fun their mono white Phyrexian deck. I feel like there's a bit of juxtaposition in there. <laughs> Fun, fair Phyrexian. Phyrexian. Mm. <laughs> I mean, but, but, well, <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's, it's not. It's not crazy strong. I think it'll be okay. Yeah, it's certainly cool. not as synergistic as the other three decks at the table. I imagine. Wow, well, I suspect we're going to find out. And speaking of the other three decks at the table, Tom, hello, welcome. Tell us about your good self and what you're playing tonight. <clears throat> hello, I'm Tom, aka Overfeed, with an X. It's weird and confusing, I know. 
Uh, I stream. I'm trying to stream every other week, but my schedule's all over the place. So we are streaming next Wednesday on uh, FWB MTG. Uh, Cryptic's joining us for that. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correct. So it's spell table seven o'clock Wednesdays. Uh, and I just launched a podcast with Kerry and Adam. Um, that's Magic Castles. Uh, Magic Castles Pod. I think it is on Twitter. I get so confused with all the, the um, usernames for it. I, I I can't remember if it was Twitter or something. I posted something with the wrong at in it the other day. Mm. Uh, and it was up for a long time before I realized. But yeah. So yeah, that's if you like weird, dumb. Uh, we just talk about shit, really. That's uh, that's about it. So, First episode. Yeah, that's, uh, very good. Definitely worth a listen. We're recording the second episode this weekend. So uh, yeah, stay tuned for that next week. Fair and good. I am playing Manichi the Fever Dream. Um, it's janky mono red. I can basically flip the parent toughness of every creature on the board with him. Uh, so it's a lot of creatures with big butts, ways to get toughness big, and then just flip it and, and smash face. I think there's a theme of smashing face on this table today, which is good. Yes, we will yeah, be going sideways. The end with the proofs of turning <laughs> toughness into power. <laughs> <laughs> So do we? Oh, sure. I, have... could, I could actually help you out with that. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Leave your politics until the game starts. You pair. <laughs> Looks like we're teaming up, Luke. Oh, also, I love the AI uh, intro you've written for me there. Okay. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did uh, real long and hard. Real long and hard on that. Speaking of long and hard, shall we start again? <laughs> yes hey Ellie thank you for tuning in just for that uh, just in time for that oh my I suppose it's I... that meme with the uh, well it's not even a meme from the Simpsons where grandpa goes into the strip club and turns around straight away yep yep so that's, that's my, uh, that is my MO uh, okay fab well if everyone's got starting hands I'll yeah. kick us off and go turn one folk if you're uh, new here drop us a follow if you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Uh, I will annoy you halfway through the game and do the same. And good luck, have fun. Why do all these lands say come in tapped? <laughs> uh, play a tramway station. Bastard. It's the oh. £20 curse, that. It really is. I'd be cursed. Oh, play. An evolving wild. Hey, and I'll crack it. <laughs> we'll get a basic if that's the turn. Oh. I will play a plane. Shuffle that sleeveless deck. Yep. <laughs> Dean, Dean's going to need 20 minutes. <laughs> that's the turn. Okay. Uh, on top of keep draw. Look, you wouldn't I play Mana Tithe, would you? A... Uh, no. No, there's a reprieve in here, but there's no mana tag. Oh. Play mountain and pass. Fear magic. Mountain. Fear magic. I think, I think, I think we'll just go to. I'm going to remind myself what my commander does on this side. Scroll up to the top and it tells you. Oh, I really should do that. Then nobody would have knew that you didn't know what happened on the backside of your commander. <laughs> 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 uh, there is a world where I edit this for YouTube, so <laughs> that'll be fine. So we're going to tap two for red and a black, mm -hmm. and we're going to cast Flame War Streetwise Operative. So we're on the, the, the vehicle side. Uh, so what's noteworthy is this is living metal, so it's only a creature on my turn. Uh, it has menace, death touch, and whenever it deals combat damage to a player, exile that many cards from the top of my library face down with an intel counter on each of them, and then convert it. So deal combat damage, exile the cards, flip over. It does not, however, have haste, so I'll pass turn. We'll just take a moment to appreciate that Flame War, being a transformer, requires the kickstand and <laughs> not fall over as a motorbike. It's because she, she sleeps transformed. <laughs> it's, it's literally like, oh, I'll rest against this wall. Want to play this fertile thicket? 
when it comes in, I look at the top five cards in my library and I may reveal the basic lands and put it on the top of my library and then the rest on the bottom. I'm Wheel never going to go to and see that kickstand now. <laughs> it's like every time. Hey Rev, how you doing? I hope you're you're less moist than you were at the start of the week. Scotland is a rainy place. It's been wet this week. I've had one day. It's been decent. That's me. Cool, these. I will draw. Hey, Strix. And, oh, look, I've got three mana. I can't read. We're doing well. And pass. <laughs> and tap of you draw. I'll play another mountain. Surprisingly, your man match. They do not. I will. They're matching set, but oh, I see that's, yeah, that's definitely time that's good time spiral. I think uh, I'll tap to Stormfleet Swashbuckler. So it's two two with the send. Um, it's got double strike as long as I've got C's blessing, and I'll pass. Oh, be there in no time. Oh, I love how dramatic the artwork is. Untap. Turn three. Draw a card. I play a swamp as my land for turn. I think we'll let's kick things off. Dean, I've taken your first seat, and I'm going to take first blood as well. I attack you with flame war. Yep. For two. Blood. Uh, so that is a trigger. So whenever flame war deals combat damage to a player, exile that many cards from the top of your library face down. I look forward to Tom denying me cards. So we go one, two. So that, uh, oh, yeah, Tom comes to mind. So. Yep. <laughs> uh, <laughs> as will Dean, to be fair. Uh, and then. That. Oh no! Wait. So we'll go second main phase. Oh, sorry. Also, the last bit it says, transform it. Okay. I think. Oh, they exile face down. Okay. Two phase, so I don't know what they are. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna tap for three, huh. and I'm gonna cast a foundry inspector. Uh, which gives artifact spells one generic less to cast. And then with that discount, I'm going to cast a Pyrite Spell Bomb, uh, which costs one, but because of the discount, costs zero. And then I will. Faster. On top. Draw this one. Most, most of the Transformers cards are far more interesting than I thought they were at first. They really are. I found that with nearly all of them. Tap three. Right. I'm gonna play a straight Spring Bloom Druid. When I enter a battlefield, sacrifice the land. If I do, search the library for two basic land cards. Put them onto the battlefield. I'll be passing. Cool. I'll draw for ten. Okay. Draw for three. Draw for three. A plains. What is this mystery three drop in your hand? It is. The Halo Fountain. Oh, that is a very tasty three drop. But you're right, uh, Brazen Coalition Games uh, spell table kicked Dean for a second there because of no sleeves. Confirmed. I mean, there's no glare from the card scene. I'm a fan. <laughs> I mean, the, the, <laughs> that is a no, I am. I'm kind of jealous of that. <laughs> like, like, <laughs> and then I believe you're up, Tom. Okay. <coughs> Tap <laughs> 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 Oh no. Please don't try this at home. <laughs> or school or anywhere. I think. Yeah, I'll tap three. For my commander. So he's a one, two. I can pay one and a red and switch each creature's power and toughness until the end of the turn. And I 
think I think I'm gonna swing two at you, Luke, with my okay, storm doing, fleet swashbuckle. Are you doing stuff beforehand? No, no. Okay. Uh, yeah, two two. No stuff, no shenanigans. Yet. Uh that's just from Elish Norton bias, really. Uh and I'll pass down. <laughs> This is probably the fairest Elish Norm. It's not to say it's not a, a good card. But it's not as. You might change my mind on Elish Norm. <laughs> Just <laughs> rank to seven and everything gets minus two, minus two, or four, and no one gets any easy wins forever. Yeah, I do have that one in two decks, but let's not <laughs> But it's not the command. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. God damn it. Yeah, I'm like, oops, how did that get in there? Oh my. Oopsie. Oh my, oh my. Like Erlish Norn in my human typo deck. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh no. <laughs> I'm going to play a small I've got her in Rocco, so it's like, oh, I've exiled her for the turn. I've got a player. I can't let her go to exile forever. Can't, can't not do it, right? Uh, so, Smolder Marsh as land, it comes in untapped because I control two or more basics. And then... Hmm. <laughs> I think we'll go one and two. And we'll cast a Lizard Blades. A Lizard Blades is a artifact creature equipment. It has double strike. Equipped creature has double strike. And it has a reconfigure cost of two. It's a double triggers. Double, double, double. I should remind mine this. Yeah, Lizard, lizard Blades, good. I've got Fire Shriek, but I don't know why I haven't put Lizard Blades in. Why would you not have lizard blades? I don't know. It's cheaper than Fire Shriek. <laughs> Fire Shriek's been reprinted loads. I mean, the only reason to not have lizard blades is if you're not running red, but. Hmm. I mean, life feels better with lizard blades. I have them and I feel great. I, I think. Only just heard the lizard blades. No. I've heard the heard them called it that about 10 times now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, for one, and I'll cast, I'll cast a, a Lord of the Rings card. Yes. Food. Some Lembus. Lembus. <laughs> when it enters the battlefield, <laughs> scry one and then draw. No. Scry one. And then I think actually we will draw that. Oops. And drop it at the same time. And then it has an activated ability for two in tap, sacrifice it and gain three life. And when it's put into the graveyard from the battlefield, it shuffles back into the library. Haha, -ha, take that mill. It's just always more Lembus bread. As it should be. And what else are we doing if we're not just going to combat? We'll send Flame War at you, Tom. And then we'll send the Foundry Inspector at you, Luke. Flame War a three two. Flame War is indeed a three two. It's a um, three two as well. It is. Take the damage. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to cast Elish Norn and get his board wiped. I mean, you're going to cast Elish Norn in board wipe anyway, so I might as well get some digs in while I can. Okay. Not always. And then <laughs> we'll go <laughs> one in my second post combat win phase. And we'll cast a Collector's Vault for the, di again, discounted rate. Uh, collector's Vault, to tap it, draw a card, then discard a card, create a treasure token. Hmm. Pass I love the, that card. Pass the turn. What's up? Bro. Hey, it's not done. Hey, Chrono. Uh, let's play this Jungle Hollow it comes in tapped and I gain a life. Oh, 
Oh, see you later, John. Sorry, I didn't see you. I'm put the bed, the kids to bed. Someone just got DDT'd somewhere. Bang! I'm gonna stop wearing headphones. I've decided. Sorry, stream. Yeah, I'll just pass the turn. Mm. Is that suspicious it's or just yeah, suspicious. bad draw? <laughs> Good magic card. It is indeed. I do like Mentor of the Meek. It's a shame it's a human. <laughs> no one's perfect. Uh, thank you, uh, Rev, for the congrats on passing my driving test. I'm a big boy now. On top of Kedro. Sorry, dude, I'm sorry, I missed when you gave life from that land. On, mate. Apologies, mate. You should be at 39. Outrageous. I think I will play three for a prophetic flame speaker. It's a one three double strike trample. Whenever prophetic flame speaker deals combat damage to a player, exile top card of your library, you may play it this turn. Nice. Uh, hmm. That is some badass artwork as well. It's very cool. And three, four, five, six, seven. Still no city's blessing, which sucks. I think I will just hold up there. I'll pass to you, Baz. <clears throat> Are you driving everyone down to Birmingham? No, you've passed. <laughs> First I mean, big drive. It's it's not my car. It's uh, trot by fire. <laughs> that would very much be the deep end, right? Uh, but who knows? Yeah, who knows? Like what might happen? I'll, uh, I'll sweet talk Luke into uh, putting me on his insurance. <laughs> Draw for turn. Uh, no, no. As long as it looks okay with sitting in the back, that's fine by me. <laughs> I mean, it is the only way I'm getting the front seat, at least on the way down. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness! I'll just put the seats down, make a little bed. Play a mountain as land for turn. You are not. Oh, we're getting there. We are getting there slowly, slowly. I doubt it's like it's doing cool stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, it's doing so well, I don't know how to drive it. I'll sacrifice things and get value, right? Okay. No, soon, soon, but not yet. Soon, but not yet. I, I think. I can I can do this at instant speed. I can do all these things at instant speed. I cannot do that at instant speed, however. Right. Unless you I cannot. I cannot. That I, is illegal. Unless I cheat, and I don't want to do that. I would hate to be accused of being a cheat. Big cheaty. Yeah. Uh, Waymore isn't a Decepticon. She is not. But... What we are going to do is go into the red zone. We will send Flame War at. I think it might. I guess it might need to be Luke, but it might not be because you do. Oh, actually. Oh, oh no, this side doesn't have Menace. Oh my god. This card's rubbish. <laughs> Dean has mana open. Dean wouldn't cast spells, would he? Yeah, he might. Uh, Dean, I'm going to send Flame War at you. I'm going to declare oh, this I didn't like it then. Before damage, I'm going to tap two, and I'm going to naturalize Flame War. Destroy target artifact. Destroy target artifact? 
Would you ever? Uh, okay, so I would like to respond to naturalize. Uh, we're going to go two. And we will cast... Oh my goodness. Uh, cast Reckoner's Bargaining. Or Bargain, rather. Uh, as an additional cost to, sa uh, to the spell, ca sacrifice an artifact or a creature. You gain life equal to the sacrificed permanent mana value and draw two cards. Uh, so the mana value is three, so I would gain three and I'll draw two. Don't worry, Snow didn't mind. Incredibly old. It's very old. <laughs> Quite it's playing old. at Snow. <laughs> hey, you can play it for me, Snow. Mine's incredibly old as well. And more. <laughs> new, new but old. And then I'll, I've wow. gained a life and I'll draw two. Okay. It is literally in his name, so. Right, so I will. Second main phase. Uh, so I'm going to tap for two. Uh, oh, no, I'm going to tap for one. Because that's how this works, because I have a Foundry Inspector. Uh, cast a prize statue. Uh, when it enters the battlefield or is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, create a treasure. I have a treasure token somewhere. Not in this pile. I'll get a treasure token in a moment. And then I think we still want to hold up this. So we're going to pass the turn there with three cards in hand. Untap draw. I'll go three and I'll cast a Phyrexian Rager. That's not a tree folk. When it comes into play, draw a card and lose it. <laughs> That doesn't have uh, Lord of the Rings on it. Are you, sh are you sure that is Dean? Ooh, squeaky toy. We're gonna we're gonna visit you, Luke, and show you how to set up your microphone <laughs> and close your door. <laughs> doesn't even sound like it's coming from my head. Like usually I can hear him, but I can't hear him squeaking. Can confirm it's not mine. Uh, <laughs> I don't know where he is. Sorry, chat. No, he's gone. We're gonna we're gonna put Luke on push to talk. I'm going to sacrifice uh, cycle this edge of autumn by sacrificing a land to draw a card. Sacrificing a duel as well. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I'm going to tap two and I'm going to cast Revive the Shire, returning target permanent card from the graveyard to my hand, and creating uh -huh. a food. No, it all makes sense. I'm going to get to this jungle hall back. I'm going to play it, return, and gain a life. So, yeah, I didn't miss oh, it this time. Tech. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll pass from there. I'll get myself a food. Dean, Dean should be on thirty nine. Sorry, chat. That's my fault. I'm just trying to confuse you by gaining one life and then losing life. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I will pass the turn. That was quick. Suspicious. Very suspicious. I will untap. I will upkeep. I will draw. I will play another mountain. No, you did not. Right. You shouldn't have actually thinking about it, but uh. <clears throat> uh... Right, what's everyone got? Da, da, da. Two, 
I will go to comp. But I will swing prophetic, prophetic, prophetic flame speaker. I don't know why this name's so hard to say. Easy for At Baz. Boo. It's a one-three double strike trample. Hmm. Curious. Nothing. Nothing concerning. Nothing to worry about. Very curious. Uh, I will declare no blocks. Okay. Before damage, I will pay one and a red and flip every creature's power and toughness until end of turn. You wouldn't. And you can I activate it multiple times. You can make it all confused. <laughs> I keep flipping it back. Monster. I mentioned the meeks now a 2 2 instead of a 2 2. It's <laughs> awful. I know. Something I didn't think about with this is it kills walls like, completely. Anything with a zero power just yes. dies. Which is yes, quite it fun. does. Yeah. Classic mono right? So that will hit you for a twice three. for three. Oh, yes, and I'll exile a mountain. Got... This is why I shouldn't have played my mountain. Two mountains, cool. <laughs> One, two, three, four, Regret five, playing six. my mountain for turn. I'm going to go with 37. Uh, and the second main, attack three, I will play Fire Shrieker. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I heard you like double strike, away. so I got you some double strike. Yeah, my hand was just packed with basically every double strike in this, in this uh, deck, so yeah. Uh, I'll pass. Okay. I... I think. Do we want to? No, we're just we're just gonna yeah. Let's start turn. On top. Draw a magic card. Would you guess it? It's another cheap artifact. Who who would have, who saw that coming? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six, six of the manas. I think we'll go for two. We'll cast our workshop assistant. Uh, normally three mana, foundry inspector discount. It's a 1-2 with the ability of, when it dies, return another target card from your graveyard to... Artifact card, sorry, from your graveyard to your hand. And then we will go 1-2. We'll cast a Prismatic Lens, which is a 2-mana mana rock. Oh, I know, it's, it's only one. Ah, look at me flexing. Eh... Uh, <laughs> For tap and generate colorless, or put filter one into it to make one of any color. Okay. I think we will just pass turn there. Chrono asks, have I asked, made any changes to the deck since getting it? No, the deck is 100% the same as it was gifted to me. Uh, it's my, the first time playing it. So it's Prince of Beltane. No, I, I always say that wrong, don't I? How do you say it, Luke? Beltan. Beltan. There we go. Um, go Attack Beltan. 3 for, and this is Pilgrimage. I've got Spell Mastery because I've got And some sources, so I get three basic, three forest cards. Uh, put one on the battlefield, and the other two in hand. Love it. That was in my Witherbloom Popper deck from the other week. And yes, Carrick. Uh, also looking forward to Sunday. Sunday should be a good, good, good time. For those not in the Discord, we are we have a community day coming up at the weekend. I don't know why I was shuffling there because I don't need to do play land for turn. And 
then I'm going to tap three for an omen of the hunt. Search for a basic land to put on the battlefield taps. Ah, okay. Cool. <laughs> Methinks he's ramping. <laughs> what are you going to do with all that mana, I wonder? It's an awful lot of mana. It is a lot of mana. I'll just pass. There's also a lot of shuffling as well with that unsleep. I'm going to yeah. end in. I'm going to tap this, put one into it, and make a citizen. Citizen Lenta, it's got power two or less. I'll pay one to put a card in my tree. Notably, you do need to tap a creature as well, but you have a creature to tap. Tap a creature? You've got to untap. Untap. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That was it. So you can't do it. Can't do it, no. Yeah, we both read it wrong. Marvelous. Play. Playing. So that card does nothing I want it to do, so that's not great. I will go. We'll just have how much play the commander. Oh shit. Oh no, it's... snap. I need to sacrifice lots of other creatures and pay mana to do it. There is there's no intention to do it. I just want to prevent some combat damage going my way. Um pass. Right. On tap. Upkeep sure. I will play Spine Rock Null. Uh, it's got Hideaway. So look at top four. Uh, Probably that. Put those in the bottom. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. I'm not going to get any attacks through. Hold on. I need to learn my learn from my mistakes of playing my land too early and then attacking with this guy that exiles. Exile draws. Uh, I'll get to combat. I'll swing this at Dean. So it's a 1-3 double strike tramble. Yep. No blocks. <laughs> cool. And then I'll tap two. So it becomes a 3-1. And I'll exile okay. Lava Brink Floodgates and another mountain. <laughs> Got him. Uh, I'll I'll tap four for the floodgates. We're going to each place upkeep. You can put a doom counter on it or remove a doom counter from it. And then if it's got three or more doom counters, sacrifice it. Uh, and it does six damage to each creature. And I will pass turn. Come on, spell table. Swear it should have been tapped. Is that. Card. Oh, you're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah, ignore that. Okay. It's put it in the it's in the hideaway reminder text. That's dumb. So that is exiled, because I can't afford it. I mean I'm okay with you cheating. Shut off mate. If, if, uh... Okay. Uh, do build the four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Cool, I'll equip the fire shrieker onto Minichi. Yeah. Instead of that. Uh and I'll pass ten. Why they put it in the reminder text? I, uh, I try not to lose sleep about why wizards do and don't do things. Draw for turn. I looked at it and I didn't see this lander as the battlefield tapped, so I was like, okay, cool. I'll play this promising vein. Do you want to flex on you, Tom? That doesn't come in tapped. Uh, 
it's one of the new Exxon caves. Taps for colorless and one and sacrifice it. Search for your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield tapped. Shuffle your library. Right. Right, right, right. Is that why I remember it being there? Is it? Is it there on Moss? The other one, the Moss, Moss one. Bridge, yeah. And the is it out of the reminds text. The white one is Windswept Heath. No, that's the Fetchland. Yeah. So yeah, like they said, like later versions it is it does say it as the battlefield tap. Oh, that is quite an older printed card. Was that Lorwyn? Uh, C twenty. C twenty. Okay, let's. Let's go. Let's tap for six. It's all good things happen when you tap for six. Uh, and we're going to cast a Marionette Master. Ooh. Foil one, would you believe? Uh, Marionette Master has Fabricate 3. It's probably what took all the budget up, to be fair. <laughs> Everything else is like 10p. Uh, so Fabricate 3 is when it enters the battlefield, I can put three plus one counters on the creature or create three 1-1 one, one servos. I'm going to put three counters on the Marionette Master. Uh, and the reason it's in the deck, whenever an artifact you control is put into the graveyard from the battlefield, target opponent loses life equal to Marionette Master's power. One card in hand. So now, I did fly more thing. Oh, no, you can't. I can't. He's I dead. Do not have the manners. <laughs> Next turn, I might, though. But yes, we'll see. Yes, I... we want to keep this card. Do we want to do anything before combat? Do we want to go to combat? So many big questions. I think, actually... I think, actually, we might just hold up some blockers. We'll just pass the turn. First. Also, hey, your mom. How are you doing? Yeah, we'll go four and I'll cast my commander. Nine nine. This is really why I had to give a hit in on you. Yeah. <laughs> Luke texts in Armageddon. Uh, and then we'll go three for a uh, Smeagol helpful guide. That's, uh, there's no Armageddon in this deck. Which says at the beginning of my end step, creature died under my control this turn during tempts me. Whenever the ring tempts me, target opponent reveals cards from the top of their library until they reveal a land card, and I put that onto the battlefield tapped under my control. No, like, historically, the ring didn't tempt that many people. I'm going to go combat. this on about 20 cards. Look, I'm going to send this 1-1 one, one at you. Yeah, take it. Just block it, you coward. I'm sure cowardly would be to block it, right? That's how that works. Uh, I have no reason to block it. I wouldn't pick you anyway, because you're like basic land. You're planes. I would, pick, <laughs> I would like pick somebody that's got a color in my color pie at the end. <laughs> <laughs> well, may, maybe maybe you could Wait a minute. Barry, then. <laughs> Are you doing anything else, Dean? No, just. Plotting my vengeance. <laughs> Plotting my vengeance. I love that. <laughs> hit someone, and then it's their fault for being hit. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. It gets worse, Dean. You also have to pay one mana, and you're losing two life. What? Oh, yeah, Elish Nord. Elish Nord. Well, when I attack you. When the uh, source Combat does damage. damage in it. 
Well, it's one life. It's two life uh, or one two mana. Two life or one mana. Oh, well, I'm going to tap this two mana. I'm going to Doomblade Elish Norn then. Success is <laughs> fair enough. Are you not paying more life to do that as well? No, because it's just destroy target non black creature. That's, That's just classic black removal there. Okay. No life lost, nothing. And I'll take the two from the trigger on the stack because I don't have any mana to pay. Good. There's a two life. Value. Got him. Cool. Anything else? No, faster. Any more take backsies, Dean? Oh, Wasn't a take backsy. <laughs> I took the damage. You did, you did. <laughs> yeah, absolutely huge. I do love a spite doom light. Big fan. Like, well, this is going to happen to you. Well, this is happening to you. What? Doom blade. I couldn't, I couldn't exactly <laughs> fire off on the marionette master, could I? Which is like the main target on the board at the moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and that's a good card. I've been hurt by that card too many times. The marionette master is oh, a yeah. same. beast. And I'll play Scroll so 5. Good. Nice. Oh, the boy. The boy. There's nothing at the moment. Mm -mm -mm. And content now, so pass. I think I want to do something in your end step. And I think it's either. What do we think? Should we remove the double striking punchy thing that Tom has or the thing that flips? I think it's the thing that flips, right? Uh, so I'm going to tap for one and sack a treasure. Uh, who's on the most life? Tom, you're on the most life. If you would take... Target... Four. It is four because it's power. Unless, do you want to flip it? Yeah. Uh, so four, and then oh, I've got no mana. With the the mana, I'm gonna abrade. I'm gonna do three damage to your commander. Okay. Yeah, I've got nothing. Oh, I'm a sausage. That's why I kept the pirate spellbow not up. Ah, well. I don't know how to play my deck. I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> okay. Cool. I want that. I will upkeep, I will draw. I'll play a buried rune. Two and two more. I'll play my commander out. Damn it. <laughs> And I will just sit on this two mana and I'll pass that. Start my turn. On top. I do like this deck because everyone's like, what the hell is that? And then suddenly it just actually does become quite scary. There's, there's nothing more dangerous in magic than making someone think. And, oh, yeah. And you, sir, have you'd be thinking. <laughs> One too many times. No, I do. I like That's it. what I like to do. Yeah, uh, draw for turn. I, I do want to make some upgrades to this deck, though, because there's a lot of. Uh... I haven't touched it for a while. It's. I, I, I really like it. I like the the space that you can kind of exp like do a lot of irregular things. Every time a new set comes out, I'm like, oh, what creatures are there with massive toughness and like no no power? Mm. Uh, it's not been great in red lately. Mm, okay. So I think we're going to go... Yes. Okay. We're going to go... One, two, three, four, five... And then we'll cast Flame War on the the face up side, the normal side, and then we'll go one two. Oh, actually, it, Flame War is an artifact, so we can do one less. That makes this way better. 
because Foundry Inspector gives the discount. And we go one, two, and then we're going to cast. I just, saw, I just saw the chat box suddenly get full. <laughs> <laughs> And then we're going to cast a Loyal Apprentice. And I will, f I will have to find a Thopter token right now. I was going to say, I'll find a Thopter token in a minute. It's like, no, I need it right now. That's a Thopter. I'm going to have to stop playing decks that fill up my board. I'm not used to playing creatures. Okay. So. We have the Loyal Apprentice has haste at the beginning of my combat, on combat in my turn, if I control my commander, which I do, create a 1-1 one, one colourless Thopter artifact creature with flying. That token gains haste until end of turn. Here is the Thopter. Hmm. Let's go to combat. And I think what we'll do is we'll send the Thopter at Luke and then we'll send in fact no Thopter at Dean because you've got a gigantic blocker uh, and then we'll send oh it doesn't really no actually yeah just the Thopter We will pass turn. Two black for a sign in blood. I'll choose myself to draw two cards on those two life. Don't try and make us feel sorry for you by losing life. Top four for an explosive vegetation. Search for two basic lands, put them onto the battlefield top, then shuffle it. Hello, Dread Warlock Robert. How are you doing? Lovely to have you here. Hope you're doing well. That's exciting. Good luck on the return. Yeah, I'm going to pay three and I'm going to attempt to murder the Marionette Master. Kill it. <laughs> well, isn't this a pickle? I mean, that's correct, right? We. Yeah, there's not much I can really do about that. Is there anything I can do right now to get a little bit of value? Don't think I don't think there is. Look at all these activated abilities that cost mana. <laughs> God damn fair decks. Uh, yes, Marionette Master will die. Probably correct. Next turn was gonna go a little bit silly. Uh, go to right, those but... artifacts just do <laughs> so much. Uh, Barry, should also uh, kill Gollum so he doesn't get ring tempting nonsense. Barry, I'm gonna send this 
11, 11. Hold my mullet you. Uh, trigger when it attacks, I'm going to sacrifice the Spring Bloom Druid, and I'm going to give the Loyal Apprentice negative 2, negative 2. You're going to let him do this to you, boss. <laughs> I mean, there's not really much I can say about it, to be perfectly honest. <laughs> but that will just have to be the way it goes. Yep. Uh, Loyal Apprentice will die to the ability. Can't have all these thoughts coming to me. Oh no, scary, scary one ones my, in your life gain deck. <laughs> my trees, there's no, there's not really life gain in this. The trees don't have reach for some reason. Yeah, that is strange. You think of all the things. Do, uh, do the trees have trample? No, this tree doesn't have trample. Oh well, that's a shame. And in that case, we'll move it's to blocks, and we will put flame war in front of it. Uh, after blocks have been declared, I'll tap one, activate Flame War's ability to discard my hand, and put all, all exile cards I own. Oh no, wait, that doesn't convert it. God damn it. Hmm. Maybe we won't block with that because I'm not reading cards correctly tonight. <laughs> In that case, we will block with the workshop assistant. No, we'll block with the Foundry Inspector. I'll take a little bit of heat off myself, potentially. You got a lot of value out of that. I had got a very, a, an exceptional amount of value out of it. Like, what, six mana? Seven mana? Yeah. For two mana? Sheesh. Yeah, I'll go to my end step. The ring tempts me. Yeah, Barry, reveal cards from the top of your library till you reveal the land, please. Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Barry will remember this. <laughs> Icar Wellspring, Archfiend of Ifnir, Mishra's Research Desk, and a mountain. Would you like a mountain? Yes, I would love a mountain. I yeah. loved one last week. I mean, yeah. And the ones that are revealed... Graveyard. Graveyard. So it's some lovely stuff for you to get back with that Oh, assistant. you're milling me? Oh, this is amazing. I mean, sure. Awesome. Why well, might just run to the toilet really fast? If you're going to do anything to me, just just toilet. Go for it. I will create a mic. Lose one life. Mic ETB. I'll tap to draw a card with. I mean, uh, white's notoriously good for removal. Yeah, you've got to have it there. And then... So one more, so I'll tap and I'll draw another card and then to the meek. And I do not have a golem token, so I'll have to just make one quick. Shame. Shame. You had all that time to draw that mate token. <laughs> no, I knew we'd be making lots of mate tokens. And I will pass. Just in time. Cool, did I not miss anything? No, you're literally just rocking up on your turn. Excellent. Cool. So untap. Keep draw. Sorry, I missed the Shrine of the Forsaken Gods. Luke should, should be on 33. Okay, 
Uh, I'm going to tap one red, and then one, two, three, four, five, four, and earth seven. Gets plus zero, plus one for each mountain you control. Nice. This is where that layers thing comes in. Mm-hmm. It's a good, it's a good blocker. Eh? How come you and Dino <laughs> get these ginormous, quote unquote, blockers? <laughs> <laughs> You're just blocking this all. Don't oh. nothing to worry about. So that's currently one, two, three, four, five. It's got plus zero, plus five. So I'll uh, choose that. Uh, and again, I think I'm just gonna pass. It's not very interesting, I know, but... Nah, it's uh, no point attacking if you don't feel it's right. Uh, I'm making moves. i got a plan, don't worry. I'm going to tap one in your end, uh, activate Flame Wars ability to discard my hand, and put all the exiled cards I own with intel counters into my hand. Okay. And we'll start my turn. On top. And we will draw a magic card. We'll play as Montagna. Right, I have to do some reading, so apologies. Can I play both of these? That would be cool. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I've done that thing where I put mana rocks in my lands. Sorry. Six, seven, eight. It's been so much that deck. It, it, it really, it truly is. Uh, I'm, I'm enjoying it, but uh, I, I fear I've maybe played the Marionette Master a touch too early. But that's okay. Uh, we live and learn, as the cool kids say. It's a target straight away. That's <laughs> of course, it is absolutely. That's is. A... like it's it's if it's not a win con and a Rakdo sacrifice artifact deck, I don't know what is. Uh, it was just more that I was trying to like, empty my hand to refill it with the Intel stuff. Uh, okay, well, I think I definitely need to play this. So let's play this card. So we go one. Two, three, four. And then we will cast the Brothers War, which is an enchantment. Uh, and on chapter one, I create two tapped power stones. Uh, chapter two, choose two target players until next turn each creature they control attacks the other, if able. And then chapter three, Brothers War deals X damage to any target and X damage to any other target where X is the number of artifacts I control. So we'll see we'll see how it goes. So we'll represent the chapters with Interesting. Comments. I wonder who I'm going to pick, if it's still here. Uh, right. Is there a way to make Oh, there it is. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to... Activate Flame War's ability to sacrifice an artifact and put a plus one counter on Flame War and convert it. And I'm going to sacrifice this prize statue. And prize statue leaves the battlefield from... Leaves the battlefield to the graveyard. I create a treasure token. Uh, and when I... Activate this ability, I convert it. So Flame Orb will flip. I'm going to, however, sacrifice this treasure right away and tap for five. You need to put a plus one on your Flame Orb as well. I do, thank you. And then I'm going to cast Mishra, Tamer of Macfall. Uh, which re it's a 4-4 four, four. and permanent I control have ward sacrifice a permanent 
Each artifact card in my graveyard has unearth generic and Rakdos. Seems good. That's pretty decent. Seems pretty good. Uh, Okie dokie. Now, is anyone comfortable with me attacking them with Flame War? I don't know why I'm asking. Uh, Dean, I'm going to send Flame War at you. Yep. Uh, it is a 3 2 at the moment with Menace and Death Touch. Yeah, I'll block them both. Uh, 4 2 and a 2 2. I will assign one damage to each of them. Uh, so everything will die. Now, the question is, do I put Flame War in the graveyard or the command zone? You can pull it back out with that workshop assistant if you can kill it off, right? I can. I'm just trying to think if I can actually kill it off right now. Actually, yeah, you know what? We'll live by the sword, we'll die by the sword. Flame War will go to the graveyard. And then that'll be a turn. So if need be, you can um, you can spell bomb it. <clears throat> yes, absolutely. I will play this first. Hey Omega, how you doing, mate? Hope you're good. Uh, I'm going to tap four. I'll tap this mountain. For a circuitous route, we get two gates or lands. Put them on the battlefield. Don't you think you've had enough? <laughs> no. Never. <laughs> it's my inner Simic. <laughs> yeah, I'll get this hidden necropolis, which is a gate. Nice. And I've got the other one as well, I think. Are they gates? Uh, hidden necropolis is a cave. Oh, it's a cave. I can't read. I was going to say, I want, want, there we want go. them in my gosh, I'll get gates. a Golgari guild gate. Heck yeah. That's a key. Love it, mate. I got excited uh, for a minute then. Forest. So did I. <laughs> I thought I missed something. <laughs> I've got all the gates. It's in my uh, shrines deck because it's my gardening deck. And I was like, that damn, five new gates. Very exciting. Yeah, Dean. Dean's uh, a big fan of, of gates. That was that was his main <clears throat> standard for a while when it was viable. I just finished getting all the uh, the foil uh, old art gates for that deck. Oh, fun! Out of uh, R and R, they they just look so nice at the gamble. But I didn't just order them. I ordered them in other orders, so it took a little while. Oh, nice. So it's quite satisfying finishing that off. Top four to cast the binding of the old gods. Nice. I'm going to pick. What, what thing of more of my things are you going to blow up? Uh, I'm going to this. I'm going to sacrifice this permanent mountain. Okay, that goes to my graveyard. Uh, yep. You're not wrong to do it. Oh, you could have blown it with Brothers War. You could have, but that's okay. Could have blown up what, sorry? Nothing, nothing. No take back, he's... Brothers War. <laughs> Everything's fine. Because <laughs> he's going to make us fight each other next time. <laughs> you better fucking believe it, lads. <laughs> <laughs> why do you think I got rid of the thing that I made my sacrifice permanence first I'm going to tap 2 and I'm going to feed the swarm targeting that enchantment oh, oh it gave everything that yeah uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll lose 4 I will, I will lose yet another permanent I never doubted you for a minute dear. <laughs> yeah You 
just basically time walked me. <laughs> Last turn didn't happen for me. And I lost three of my things. Look, Luke's combat, look. Really... Look, I'll send. He's been really suspicious. <laughs> Hello to you. Uh, on attack, I'm going to sacrifice this token. And I'm going to give. The... the thing that draws cards? I don't need to pick the person I'm attacking. I know, but... I mean, you can continue to remove things off my board if you want. No, I wasn't. I was actually looking at somebody else's board. I don't really believe you, but you live your life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can just flip the parent of us. Yeah. Yeah, I'll pick your commander. Oh, damn it. <laughs> you, can flip it you can flick it if you want. God, I'm flipping it if I want. Just see what's going on over here. Yeah, well, uh, block with the blades. Slicer. Blade slicer. Yeah. Hi. Who splices the splicer? Oh, I don't have a deal with it. Whatever the 1515 your bloody tree person is doing, it's been stupid. It doesn't have trample. Yet. It, I don't actually think it has a way of getting trample. It's This deck's just like full of removal. You'll oh, cleared away. If you, have, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> I bet your list will uh, have a way of giving it trample. No, nah, but if he's playing all the removal to remove the blockers, he doesn't really need trample. Yes, my turn. Uh, oh, cool. Okay. So 14, 14. Not 15. Oh, 17, you should be on the 24. My bad. I Nick Voss Shrine to Nick for land. I mean, I can't say anything. My popper deck from the other night was just ramping lands. Last, last one of my white tappy things. So. I will create another might. And I'll lose one life. I'll pay one mana to draw a card. Mm. This hand is absolutely trash. Where's Cat Oven? I think. I don't know if Cat Oven's in this one, your ma. Actually, I might, might go check that right now. Dean, I will send my, my token at you and... Oh, I suppose I've got one. Yeah. Take four and take... Oh, Dean's a one toxic token. It begins. Yes. Is it toxic one? Is it? I thought it was toxic. Nah, toxic one, bro. It doesn't. Uh, it's it's gonna have very little impact unless I find the other card that does the thing and just create loads of lights. Oh wait. I know the camera moved to me, but are you done? I am done, yes. Thank you. You are? Cool. Drop. Hmm. Hmm. What we realized, chat, when we started is a spell table now can take deck lists. Which I think is really quite handy dandy. What was it? Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah, uh, Cat Oven okay. would be very good in uh, this deck. Um, I'll go to combat. Not yet. I'll swing my. Flop. No, no, it's going. To, it's going to do. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, Shocking. After all the help, it's. <laughs> 
It's only a one one. It's a, a one three. Good. Sorry, I, I can't flip it. So you know. Okay. Somebody All right. Much money. So you'll take two, and I'll exile. That's fair. Robin Tunnel. Fuck off with your fear. And... <laughs> <laughs> a lot burial entertainer. So I'll play Goblin Tunneler. Oh, that's a bad card. Nah, I think, don't worry about it. Everything's to be goaded except Dean Street person. Yeah, and I'll play I'll play Bailoff. So <laughs> creatures with uh power less than his power are goaded. And I'll pass turn. Damn. On top. I don't have an upkeep trigger because I don't have a saga anymore. No upkeep. Anyway. Uh, draw. I think what we'll do. Yes. Uh, for Rakdos, black and a black, we'll cast an Oni Cult Anvil. The Scourge of Pioneer at the moment. Oh, I hate that card. Uh, whenever <laughs> one or more artifacts you control leave the battlefield during your turn create a 1-1 one, one colourless construct artifact token uh, this ability only triggers once per once each turn uh, and it has an activated ability of tap sacrifice an artifact it deals 1 damage to an opponent and I gain 1 life uh, I'm gonna go to combat? Question mark. You're goaded, remember? I am goaded. Um, uh, yeah, well, I'm, go I'm going to combat because I want to. <laughs> uh, yep, go to combat. I will send this one to uh, Luke. And I'll send this one to flyer at Luke as well and I'll send this 1-1 one, one double striker at you Dean yeah, uh, so you, you yeah, there's I'll a just flyer but there's one that you can block uh, without that's, your mentor dying that's fine I don't want it to die okay, okay so you each take two second main phase looks like we have to do it the hard way chat Uh, what we'll do is oh, do we want to do it now maybe we just wait maybe we just wait It goes to hand, doesn't it? Nah. Uh, okay, so we're going to tap the Onikon An Cult Alvil. Oops. Uh, sacrifice the Workshop <laughs> Assistant. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> that was Luke's thoughts on it. It was creeping in then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's going to deal one damage to you, Tom. And I'm going to gain oh, one life. Damn it. And I'll take one damage. Workshop Assistant will trigger uh, as will the anvil so I'll create a 1-1 one, one construct uh, and I will return flame war to my hand from the graveyard thanks to the workshop assistant and then for black and a red I'm going to cast the more than meets the eye side of flame war Although, admittedly, I probably should have it in as a creature, since I'm going to get hit by a tree, probably. 
Huh, I didn't really think about that. Yeah. We'll tap one more. I'm going to get hit with a creature. We'll tap uh, the promising, the prismatic lens. And we'll cast. Choose not to attack. Uh, you can't choose to not, well, unless you can remove the creature that's goaded your commander. Uh, which you may. He's not goaded. It's creatures with power two or less that are goaded. Oh, crazy. Yeah, this yeah. isn't goaded yet. It's right. an 11 now. 15, 15. All right, I'll gamble. I'll bring it in as. I'll bring it in as. The other side. I know it's gonna. I know I'm gonna die. It's fine. Whatever. Uh, but we have to try and advance the game. I will pass the turn with cards in hand. Uh, on your end, I'm gonna tap three. Sacrifice. Omen of the Hunt to scry two. Construct. Do I have a construct? Do. Now you forgive me, my construct's uh, one of Urza Saga's constructs, so it says I think it's plus one for each artifact, but that is not this deck. Going to keep them both on top. One tap and draw. Yeah. Two, go search for a forest card, put onto the battlefield tapped. Four, five, six, and I'm going to cast an auspicious Starix, mutating it onto the top of Old Man Willow. Nice. So it's this base power six six, but it gets plus six plus six for each land I control. It's time for that removal. And lands. whenever it mutates, exile cards from the top of your library until you exile X permanent cards or X. Of times this creature is mutated, put those permanent cards onto the battlefield. Very good. Oh, not even waiting to see if Luke's going to exile it. Christ. First. Still works. <laughs> uh, I don't have a way to exile Still get the trigger. <laughs> uh, Fleshbag Marauder. Oh, nice. Each player sacrifices a creature. Hey, I will sacrifice this Thopter. I'll sacrifice the marauder. Yeah, sorry folks, I've not added the deck list yet with the the short notice of changing guests. I haven't set that up. But I will have them for the YouTube video. Uh, are you wiping the board, Luke? There you go. You will laugh at how janky mine is. Am I wiping the board? Yeah. Uh, not unless I draw it. All right. So you've not got like because if you were going to wipe the board, I would just swing at somebody else. Oh no! I, I did not mean to don't. do that. But I'd rather you swung at someone else anyway. No, but I don't need to swing. That's what I mean. All oh, right. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's like if you were wiping the board, I would swing because you're going to wipe the board. If, Two seconds. If I but draw I a board swing. wipe, I probably I will play it though. Okay. But I can uh, say I don't have one in hand at the moment. Yeah. I'll pass. But on it's your end, I'm oh, going to do this. <laughs> Wanted to do it. I'm going to untap. I'm going to make a citizen. That's going to end up. I'm going to pay one because I'm meant to have a meek. I'm going to draw a card. Amazing. <laughs> no, genuinely, like, I think Men Under the Meek is such a. Like, the fact that it's <laughs> survived this long, unreal. Do you see what I just drew, Dean? <laughs> Is that board wipe? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, no. We're, we're not going to play. 
Why not? Shake bag. I'll play it if you want. <laughs> do you want me to play it? I'll play it. I'll play it. Right, so I will make. Uh, let me do my thing first. We'll make another might. I'll lose one life. I'll pay one. I'll pay one mana to draw. I'll mentor the meek. So value from mentor the meek. Is mentor of the meek is N E T B right? Yeah. I'm gonna put my money where my mouth is. In response to the trigger, I'll tap for red, and I'll sacrifice the spell bomb to hit, deal two damage to it. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Uh, only the cult will trigger. Uh, I will get another contract. Draw a lot of cards from it, then make. I will play land for turn. I suppose. I'm not sure how we're going to do it, so we will. One. Actually, there's no point in drawing it because it's a way to get blown up. Two, three, four, five, six. Phyrexian Rebirth. Not even Destroy all creatures, after then create an XX colorless Phyrexian Horror artifact creature token like X. Because I've only got like one ones and they've got no damage. I mean, sure. Well, you don't have to. I... Okay. I also missed a bunch of triggers, but it's way too late now. I should have been making treasures when goaded stuff died, but Well I mean that was they'll, turns ago. they'll see it all this now, right? Uh it's when they're attacking or blocking. Ah, okay, okay, okay. In that case that will not Yeah, your stuff it's fine, it's too late. So I've got four dead creatures. Uh, it's the one. first time I've played this deck and I've actually got that out, so you know. <laughs> That's all good. Uh, three creatures are dying on my board. Uh, I had five, four. Uh, Flame War is not a creature on opponent's turns. Eleven, eleven, Proxy and Horror. You played you played Flamer on the right side after all. I did. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Tap one. I feel like I'm the only person that's not had an 11 11 in this game. Giver of Runes. Oh, that's a good card. And I will pass. Thank you. Oh my. Oh, your Thank commander you. wasn't. Wasn't a creature. Ah. Uh. That's why I was like, yeah, yeah. I had bang on fun. twenty. I had bang on twenty-one. <laughs> I, I did. I, I did have a blocker though. I had a one-one. I thought you swung with everything. I did. Yeah, but but I one... sacrificed with the Oni cult in it. Ah, oh, right. Okay, fair enough. But you could have sacrificed your. You get the minus two minus I two. I didn't have. An, didn't have anything to sacrifice. It's got Just to be creatures. a. It's got to be a creature or a token. Uh, so not your. Token and sacrifice. And is that a Chad Signet robot? and Solemn. It is. It's not the actual Chad one. That's in my uh, my Blind Seer deck. But... Is that the Pepsi Cola looking one? Get a man. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see that now either. Uh... I'm going to miss my card draw there. Good yeah, you got a lot of value out of that. Um, I guess I'll just pay two and I'll put the fire shrieker on the robot and I'll pass the robot a end of turn I'm gonna tap one and sack this promise in vain to go get a swamp put onto the battlefield tapped shuffle shuffle Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. And then oh, these sleeves are so glary. Start turn. Really annoying me. 
on top, on top, on top. And my turn, Fleamore is indeed a creature. I'll draw for turn. Oh, yeah, I've never cast this before. This is a good one. Okay. No. Is there a way to. There is not. Cool combat. Dean. Yes? I would like to attack you for two with Flamore. What does it ever do to you? Uh, loads. <laughs> that's, for, that's for taking first place with the die roll today. I mean, I'm, I'm still about to get slapped by a gigantic Phyrexian horror, but uh, we need to try and get some cards. So we're going to exile two cards because of Flamore's ability. Exile with flame, uh, flame counters, intel counters, and then oh, we convert flame more. So flame more will be the creature side tapped, and then I think that'll be turn. It's me. <laughs> It's like waiting for somebody else to. <laughs> I mean, you you can pass. And tap, so. keep draw. I keep. And creatures I control get death touch the end of turn. Sorry. <laughs> I'm just updating life totals. Sorry, I had Luke one lower than he was supposed to be, or one higher. We'll, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six, and we're going to cast Old Man Will. <laughs> Surprising though. So one, two, Did not see that coming. He's a 15 15. And you think you would? He's a really big tree. One, two, three, four. I'm going to tap five and we're going to cast Triverse the Outland. Search your library for X basic land cards where X is the greatest power among creatures you control. Put those cards onto the battlefield tapped. So I'm going to go and search for 15 basic lands that I don't have. Luke, <laughs> pass the exile. Do it now. Finally. Uh, in that case, I'm going to respond. I, and Luke, I hope you remember I did this when I'm using up removal that probably wouldn't have been a for Phyrexian. Uh, so for I two... Could have kept it. <laughs> could have kept it. Uh, I'm yeah. going to cast Wild Magic Surge. Uh, targeting your commander, Dean. Yeah, sure. Uh, so it's Chaos Warp, I think. Destroy, oh, destroy target permanent opponent controls. Uh, reveal cards from the top of their library until they reveal a permanent card that shares a type. Uh, and oh, they creature. put that card onto the battlefield. Okay. The rest on the bottom. Oh, there we go. You have a My Elder. Great deal. <laughs> Just delight me inevitable. <laughs> well, I mean... I mean, Deed's Commander costs what... Uh... What, eight now? And he's got 15 lands. <laughs> yeah, but his commander would have been uh, a 30, 30. Oh, yeah, like... And no his more his lands in his deck. So every draw would be gas, potentially. No, uh, a lot of the good lands are... Well, I wouldn't say good lands, but... Yeah. I can't get them lands, but... It's all basics. His commander's an absolute one-shot where... I think we all just die to it, eventually. Eventually. But if Dean's going to use all his removal on me, I suppose I should use all my removal on him. I didn't use it all on you. Okay. <laughs> he did use a little bit on me, to be fair. He so. did, he did, he did. I was going to kill him as well if you didn't wipe the board, Luke. <laughs> don't, don't bring me into this. <laughs> I, said, I said if I drew a board wipe, I was wiping the board. And I drew a board wipe, yeah. and we all laughed and had a good time. <laughs> it was the Maybe best of cry, times. Right? It was the worst of times. <laughs> <laughs> Sad that that card didn't work out. It's like <laughs> it's one of the cards I was excited for. It's, it's, <laughs> it's too much value. Yeah, we need to get value out of this. So let's. If it gains protection from color, does that mean things can't block it? Uh, the they, color, if they are yeah. the color it has protection from. That's right. 
did you go and get two lands, Dean? That would go off when that guy came down, right? Traverse would still go off. Oh, yeah, so it would, yeah. <laughs> yeah, because uh, oh, it's a creature, it's not a target. target. Okay, there you go. So I'll go two lands. Oh, let's review this reveal. <laughs> I will go, I'll tap it for give protection colorless. My protection horror for 11, please. Yeah, I heard you look. Colorless protection. Or hit Tom for 11. Tom can't hear me. Already. Can you Can give colorless protection? It says, it just says on the card. Colorless is a color. I, I Another think... card creature you control gains protection from colorless or from the color of your choice yeah. at the end of turn. M Mother of Runes is on the color. Uh, give Damn. her the newer one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. 11 then. Please. 11! Uh, Insert the meme. 21. And no way to you're not giving me the card draw. <laughs> it's a pass. It was you. Yeah. It's a pass. Yeah, yeah. it's all you. You should just hit Mister well, Thirty well, over there. Look, I mean, my time. time will come. We use Lemba oh. spread. But you can nibble on still. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Bring it back. Eat it again. Yes. <laughs> Another one. Three. Four, five. Six, seven. For my commander. Manny is back. Oh, I just realized Oni's anvil is Chum. one to each opponent, not target opponent. Ah, well, it's smart. Um. I am going to tap red and two. I'm going to play boss. Plague equals two, destroy two artifacts. I'm going to pop the Phyrexian Horror. I'm going to pop the Anvil. I don't think the Phyrexian Horror is an artifact. Uh, it is. Oh, it is an artifact. Colorless Horror Artifact Creature. What does that do then? Uh, destroy. And the Anvil. I don't like that at all, but I see. Oh. I, I understand why you're doing it. I'm going to... Uh, if you finish. hadn't said it did one damage to everyone, I probably would have left it, but... <laughs> so in response, I'm going to tap this. Two. Oh, tap. shit, you can untap and give it protection, right? These two. Ah, oh, goddammit. I will tap that to give it protection from red, please. I would like to respond to the activation. Okay. Uh, so we're going to go one, uh, and we're going to discard my hand, which have zero cards, and to put these cards in you my hand. You can't do that. Pardon? You can't do that. you got no cards in there. I know, if only. Uh, if only. Uh, so you've performed an action, so I can perform an action there, right? Uh, you, If you want to respond to me activating that ability, then yes. So I've already given myself protection. You are. Red. You haven't yet. Okay. It's on the stack. You've targeted it, but it's on the stack. But you okay. could always untap it again and do it again. You could do that if you want to. Yeah. You could pay and do it again. Or no, you have to tap the half. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't have enough. So can... Yeah, I can't do it. I should have targeted the fountain. Of course you should have. <laughs> hey. Regret. Okay. <laughs> That is, oh, is unfortunate. It's an enchantment or creature removal is what you need. Yes. I mean, you're not going to hit me with the Phyrexian Horror until Tom's dead anyway, so what am I worrying about? Value. Uh, it is. Uh, 
but what we will do is activate the Onicon and cult. I'll, I accident. Oh my god. Uh, we're gonna sacrifice Lembus bread to it. Uh, everybody takes one. I gain one. I will make a one one construct, and then in response to oh, going all the way back down onto the stack. We're two. A actually we'll untap one of these and do that. A, we'll cast a costly plunder. Doing all these actions off camera. Apologies. A additional cost, sacrifice an artifact or a creature and draw two. So I'll sacrifice the Oni Cult Anvil to draw two. And then I'm happy for the protection to go through. I did a bunch Damn of it. instant speed stuff before your Phyrexian horror <laughs> you had protection. No, no, I know, but I assumed you were removing all this. I did. I removed my thing on my terms. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's got protection from red. Uh, um, Target is illegal. Is illegal. Yeah, that's me. Uh, it doesn't uh, pass uh, you, does. Oh, yeah, it does fizzle. That's right, because there isn't any targets. Well done. A end step, I'm going to tap two to tap this to draw a card and then discard a card. Okay, I did not know that was in the deck. That's funny. A, but I think we're... Actually... Yeah, we'll put this mountain into the graveyard. And, then, and it will also create a treasure token. My god, there's so many things to do in this deck. And then we'll untap. Start. New turn. It was Barry Chrono that started. Yeah, I just saw it. It was, I, I was the starting player, yeah. The streak is broken. <laughs> uh, draw for turn. I'll play a command tower. Uh, for two, I'm going to activate the Collector's Vault to draw a discard. Uh, and I will discard this Spire of Industry. Okay. And then we'll go one, two, three, two red. And we'll cast a Mechanized Warfare. Uh, three mana enchantment. If a red or artifact source I control would deal damage to an opponent uh, or a permanent opponent controls, it deals that much damage plus one. Oh, that only cult would have been so good. It would have been so good. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to sacrifice uh, an artifact to Flame Wars ability. Got a plus one on it and flipper. And then we're going to go to combat. So do you have you. So yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll Send Flame War in at Luke because you are the next highest life total. Uh, so it is Menace and Death Touch. And I believe your mates can't block anyway. No, they can't. How big is it? It is currently just a 3 2 with no shenanigans. Take three. Uh, Flame War will trigger. I'll exile the top three cards. And then we'll go, and then after that, it will convert back to the other side. Uh, oh, I tell a lie, it is four, because it's 
the talk, speaking of layers, mechanized warfare is an additional one. So it should be twenty-four. So it should be four cards exiled. Oops. Apologies. That's actually pretty decent. Which pump it up, isn't it? It is. It's all right, and it's not kind of like the main main theme. But I feel like it's, it's nice when you've you've emptied your hand out. Yeah, definitely. Which likely will happen. I played that. We have one treasure. I think that will be turn. Yeah, on your end, I'm going to pay two to sacrifice. You have my elder to draw a card and go and get two basics into my hand. for a druid class. I'll play a swamp for turn and I'll gain a life. See, there it is. Told you. <laughs> I just read my life totals wrong. Oh, oh no. It's right. I just This is where you need that 15. Add it here. 15 lands card. Yeah. <laughs> brace, brace. So I'm going to tap eight. I'm going to cast Old Man Mola. I'm going to tap six and I'm going to cast an Olvenwald Hydra. Equal to the current of equal to the number of lands to control when it enters the battlefield. I may search my library for a land card, put it onto the battlefield tap, then show. Nice. I think we're getting into the region of field oh, to find now, right? It, this is just land. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I used to have it in uh, synergy. Wind Grace. It's very good. We are in danger, chat. We are in danger. Sure. Yeah, I'll get this hidden in the crop. I'll just pass. Yeah. You say you're passing, dude? Yeah. from green hit Dean for 11? Really Question mark? He cracks back and kills me. Oh. He, he's got... What? I have Dean at 16. He should be on 14? Okay. You got two... 19, 19. Two 19, 19. Yeah, it's just, it's just too much. And like, the side of trample as well. It's got reach. Oh, it's got reach. Oof. Glad I got that one in with the thought turb when I did. <laughs> really bad for everyone <laughs> it's it's just not a good time mate it's uh it's a clock for all of us how much can you do 11 yeah uh, yeah because i can only give one creature protection you you could you could definitely you could do twelve. 
because you could do your untapped thing with a giver but that would probably not be advantageous because you want to keep the protection up right well, you could hit the person on 39 life you, you know what you could <laughs> Got a yeah, I can in exile. Off, but then I'm. If I finished him off, I'd be wide open and and probably dead the next turn. So, yeah. oh my god, I'm so dead. Okay, I will. Dean, I'm not gonna hit you. I mean, I'll have a. I'll have a I'll, I'll, I'll kill him in my turn. <laughs> but I need you to do all the damage. So, so you're attacking. <laughs> so you're attacking, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go combat, yeah. Okay. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna attack you. Spells to attack this. Give protection to colorless. We'll send it to you for eleven damage. As is your right. Hey, well, is that me again? No, it's at me. Oh. <sighs> okay. I mean, you are nearly at starting life. I know. It's like, I don't want to say it's only 11, but. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely, it's only 11. Yeah. Wally. Wally. I will. Yeah, I will declare. I'm always cheering you on, Wally. No blocks. <laughs> I, I suppose I'll be taking 11, unless there are shenanigans. No, that's it. One, two, three, four, no, five, seven, 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 eight, oh, I should have drawn, drawn a card last time I did this. I'll go two and tap it to untap me too. And I should have drawn a card last time and I didn't. Oh no, I'm not on 11, I'm on... And then we'll move to this card. 17. You're on 28. 28 even, Jesus. Math. You took 11, right? Just took 11. Uh, yeah, I'm going to Oh. Also, Wally, congrats on 5k, mate. Well earned. 5k subs on YouTube is no joke for big, big old Chad magic. That is impressive. Righto, let's untap. Let's upkeep, let's draw. Let's play a mountain. Hmm. Actually, no. I'm going to tap two. I'm going to Cathartic Reunion. I'm going to discard a mountain and a Blood Mist. I'm going to draw three. That's the, that's the play. You're doing the most powerful thing in magic. Drawing cards. Hell yeah. Can't be Drawing that. Japanese cards, though. That I need to check the full wording of yeah. because I very rarely play red. You'll laugh when it's, when you find out what it is. Uh, okay, cool. Well, we want to know what we're laughing about. Um, so yeah. I think before I do that, I'm going to tap. Tap two to. No, 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 no. Yeah, I will tap two and do the the Japanese card, which is Thrill of Possibility. <laughs> Getting rid of Dwarven Miners. Drawing two. Drawing two. That was the one. <laughs> nice. I love that. You'd think I know what un that unexpected wave does. Uh, Thrill of Possibility, so. Uh, uh, um, hmm. What is that beautiful beauty hmm. card that you have put in your graveyard? Dwarven Miners. Oh, that uh, sorry, Dwarven Warriors. It's very Love the very artwork. Fun. Yeah. Some nice old stuff. I, I had one of those when I used to play at school. I wish I know, knew where it was. Nice. Uh, right, I'm going to tap four. I'm going to play Wildfire Eternal. Uh, it's a 1-4 with a flicked four. 
uh, whenever it attacks and isn't blocked, I will cast an instant or sorcery card from my hand without paying its mana cost. And I'm gonna pass there. Taz Tactical, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Hope you're good. Uh, I... I, 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 Dean, what's your intention on your turn? I can't really attack. <laughs> so I'm too low on life. But I'll what, die if I attack. But what if you could? I could attack then. <laughs> I could swing. Okay, I, li I like that idea. Uh, so we're gonna attack. Do what the deck wants to do. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna swing, damn it! Uh, I would like it not to swing at me. I should, probably should preface with that. A good deal could be made. Okay, because I'm using. Oh, we made a deal, Dean. Uh, so I'm gonna tap three and cast a chaos warp, uh, and we're gonna target the giver of ruins. So exile target permanent, shuffle it into the opponent's library, and then they reveal. Top card of the library. If it's a permanent, they put it onto the battlefield. Why not the horror? Because the giver is better. Yeah, but the horror is. And you could just brilliant. protect the horror. Otherwise, I've got one one. But also, your you just protect the horror with the giver. Is untapped, and you just protect the horror, and then I don't get a spell. Ah, okay. Unless are you are you not gonna protect the horror? Yeah, no, uh, yeah, well, I, I like the wood. In that case, I'm definitely sticking with the Giver of Ruins. Just decide if I want to go roll the dice and go through my library. Probably not. Uh, I will tap one. God's will. I'll cast Surgery of Salvation. You and Permanent, you control get an expert to end the turn, prevent all damage to that black or red source. There you go. One for one, at least. In response. In response. I'm going to tap red and one and i'm going to fire prophecy it deals three damage to target creature you may put a card from your hand onto the bottom of your library if you do draw a card let's target the giver we officially have a stack let's fucking go <laughs> three damage well yeah yeah results okay the river will die and i'll lose my card give give your phyrexian aura protection before it goes I thought it was your turn, but... No, 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 no. Oh, all right, okay. Uh, Doesn't really matter then. <laughs> and Chaos Warp fizzles, so you won't get the exile. Uh, oh, well, not. No, that was, that was great. Thank you. Uh, and then I'll tap one to activate Flame War to discard my hand, which is this land. Uh, and I'll put these exiled cards into my hand. And then... Uh, it's not what transforms that. Okay, we will then now start you're going to remove turn. my board and let Dean kill me. I, I don't know what's in my hand, is the honest to God truth, because I had well, no hands. You just, you just said to Dean that, what if you could attack, implying that if I had no board, I could be killed. Yeah, 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 well, you know, you can attack. Like, both these things are bigger than the, the horror. So why wouldn't he attack you, though? Well, that's why I asked him not to. So did I, that's why I attacked you. For my 11 11 instead of the. Yeah, that's why I took it. So I could use removal after your, I was in a point to make it more advantageous. Dean, Anywho. let's talk about not attacking me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going. Dean's not allowed to attack anyone. I, well, Dean I could didn't see he is... wasn't going to attack me. I, I still <laughs> looks like I can't attack at this moment. Anyway. Yeah. The way um, it is. Yeah, the clock 100%. Is, uh... The clap back is real. No, I just sent one Dean. Okay, so we're going to play this Temple of Malice as land for turn. Scry one. We'll put that on the bottom. Wait. I didn't draw for turn, because I have three cards in my hand. So I would have drawn that card. And then I would scry this one. What the fuck does that do? That was me looking through the deck that Cryptic gave me. Okay. Right. How does it flip?
Oh, this card is dope. Yeah, we're going to keep that on top. Okay. So we've played our land. Uh, I think we will go 1 2 and activate the collector's vault to draw and discard. We'll draw this card and we'll discard a swamp. Oh no, he drew the, the dope card. I, <laughs> I did. I got excited. Card, cards on the table. <sighs> right. The thing is, though, it's still. It, it, it's super dope, but it's not a. I'm not in a great position to do do with it what I wish to do, but that's okay. Uh, we'll go two and we'll cast it anyway. Uh, we'll cast the drowsing device. Dowsing device. Uh, it's a two mana artifact. Uh, when it or another artifact enters the battlefield under your control, up to one target creature you control gets plus one plus zero and gains haste until end of turn. Then transform it. Uh, if I control four or more artifacts. The backside is pretty good as well. The backside is quite, quite good. <laughs> uh, so when it enters the battlefield, I will give uh, Flame War plus one plus zero. Oh, that's why we need to think about layering. Curious. One, two, three, four. Yes. Five. If I had any manner. Wait, what the, what the hell does this card do? Okay. People are supposed to be asking that about my deck, not yours. Absolutely. <laughs> oh my god. It's like the last time you were on. <laughs> it was all that. I was like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> so I, I love it. I've played this probably out of sequence, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to cast this Arkin. Like it was last time. I mean, anyone saw Insold Scimitar, you know. And other such commander classics. Other classics, yeah. Uh, oh, I should actually. I had four artifacts. So I have one, two, three, and then the treasure. So this transforms uh, into land that's untapped. So for two in red. Uh, until end of turn, target creature gains haste and gets plus X plus O, where X is the number of artifacts I control, activate only as a sorcery, i.e. only on my turn. And when the stack is empty. Okay, well we don't have any trample, and everyone's got blockers. So we won't be doing that. I think what we do instead... Is we'll go two uh, for red and a black, and I'll cast this Judy Master of Review. Uh, whenever you sacrifice a permanent, put a plus one counter on Judy, and then when Judy dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. I have one card in hand. That will be uh, no. Uh, I think we need blockers, sadly. So we will pass the turn. Sorry, big turn. What is it, boy? What's up? Let's pile. <laughs> pile can. Why can't I hold all these lands? Uh, play a land in life. <laughs> Oh sweet, Dean's only got four lands. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a super thick land. Chunky land. Uh, three, four, five. This is a sacrifice hidden like Acropolis a... to discover four. Like he's a Vegas dealer. Uh, it's a thrashing Brontodon. Yeah, that's not good for an artifact deck. <laughs> It's one of Luke's favourite cards. We'll go three to move up to level two. I do like and play an additional land. I'll play this swamp. 
in life. Uh, we'll tap five to go up to level three. Nice. This land will become a plus X plus X equal to the amount of lands I control. I'm seeing a theme here, with, Dean. With haste. Oh, that's different. <laughs> Six lands on top. Twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixty, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, 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 twenty. Nice. Damn. Three, four, block. Yeah. You can, uh, you can kill people, then. I don't think I can. Thank <laughs> thankfully none of them have trample. Yeah. Well, I've only got one blocker. And Tom and I have got three be, blockers. Yeah, but you'd be forced to block so you're losing them as well. I mean, you want jury because it's part of combo and you don't lose your commander either. No, it's it is good, but at this point it's trying to stop a twenty twenty. I know. But then Dean doesn't sacrifice apply. artifacts. You then get to ping people, put counters on it, and then you're doing five damage. It's, it's like a marionette master with extra steps. But less good, yeah. Oh, yeah, well, yeah, it's obviously less good. But I don't currently have a sack outlet, so we're all good. Just no team. We're all a Vandal Blast away from being absolutely wrecked. Not a blasphemous act, rather. Yes. Well, no, actually, because Dean's <laughs> will be fine. Sounds good to me. <laughs> 13 damage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Tom will send this 2021 to you. No, you're going to let him draw a card. Own. God damn it. <laughs> that's, what was, that's what I was doing. Nice. He's been wanting to block with that Solon for ages. I have. It's been out just waiting to die. He's been alive for so long. I forgot what's under my spine. Yeah, that'll be turn. Oh. Vandal Blasphemous Act. <laughs> That'd be funny if it was oh. me. I should have saved my... Uh... Just the obliterate, isn't it? My by force. <laughs> obliterate, oh my god, that would be backbreaking. Make uh, another might and I'll lose a life. Oh, I love structural assault. I've got that in my Kibo deck, it's so good. Against this nonsense. Alice Norn's a board wipe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, can't afford to cast that and do that. Passing. Okay. Mm -hmm. On tap, up, keep, and draw. Because we're all just dead, dead Dean. Yeah. I mean, you really are, because you can kill your Phyrexian horror. But he can. You could have Elish Nord. He could have Elish Nord. Uh, you've got, no, because you've, you've, got, you've got Nexus, Shrine, and X. Oh, that would have been. Elish Nord, and then you would have yeah. got four for a top and three. Yeah, but the first fade is is create incubation tokens, which wouldn't have done anything. I'd have died before the second one. 
transform them all, though, so it's blockers. Oh, you did transform them right away. I think transform the second one. Okay, I should have done that. Hazardous Monument. Nice. Ah, well. I'll pay. Maybe I'll draw another board wipe. Not a ten to that. Don't threaten us with a good time. I'm just get my spawn back. Folks, if you made it this far and you aren't following, remember to drop us a wee follow. Uh, and if you're watching on YouTube, hi! Drop a wee like and a subscribe, please. Sack buried rune to get Solemn back. Ay ay ay. And then I'll play him out. Got that ramp. Uh, and I can discard a card and draw a card with Hazardous Monument. So I'll discard a mountain. Of turn. Do you want to go get your basic? Uh, yeah, I'll go do that in a sec. Um, because I think, yeah, cool. I'll tap two and I'll play uh, Blood Mark Mental. Oh, just one actually from the Hazardous Guard reduction. Great creatures you control a first strike. Um, I'll just pass and I'll go and get a basic. Come on, spell table. Come on, there it is. I do you want to do anything? No, because we can't do anything. Okay, untap. See nothing now. But we do need some cards. Okay, so for one and a red, yeah, I'm going to cast a Guild Artisan, uh, which is a background enchantment. Commander creatures I own have, whenever this creature attacks a player, if no opponent with more life than that player, uh, more than, sorry, if no opponent has more life than that player, you create two treasure tokens. So if it's the, a person with the yeah, highest life opponent with the highest life, life total. Not so it doesn't matter if I do. But yeah, can't be tied, which is yes, a weird thing. Painfully fair. A very weird thing. We like fair cards. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, Okay, and then do we care about this card? Probably not. So let's do this. We'll do one, two, one of each. Okay, and we're going to activate the Collector's Vault to draw this card. Draw. And we're going to. Oh, wait. Mm. Yeah, we'll put uh, this beam beam town beat stick into the graveyard, and I'll create a treasure. Sacrifice the Brontodon to destroy his, his vault. Stop the card draw forever. Do it. 
He's, he's, he's commander's an artifact as well. Yeah, <laughs> that, is that, com an artifact. that comes my way. <laughs> it's not going to. Uh, gonna cast a chromatic star. Uh, it does, no matter what it does, but when it's put into a graveyard from a battlefield, draw a card. So I'm gonna activate Flame War to sacrifice it. So put a plus one on Flame War and convert it. So we'll trigger, draw. Oh, we digging. We are, as the cool kids like to say, digging. Okay. That's funny. Okay. Don't worry, I'm digging as well. There's I, something in here. I mean, I'll, I will get to something at some point. I, so we're gonna. I definitely didn't have a flick through it while I was shuffling to try and find like what it is I'm actually looking for and then shuffle it, but. I, I'm not entirely sure what it is I'm looking for. No, I hear you, man. Uh, so I'm going to activate the Geode Grotto. Uh, until end of turn, target creature I control gains haste, gets X plus X plus zero for X is the number of artifacts I control. Activate only the sorcery. Uh, target Flame War, because we are indeed digging. As Tom correctly pointed out. So, Let's go. Flame War Slow is... Cards. Do we have any artifact lands? Would that be a thing? No. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six artifacts. Uh, so we're going to go to combat. Uh, and look, you have the highest life total. And I'm digging for answers. So I'm coming at you with my Menace Death Toucher. That has... It is a four... Four, three. It's bigger than a four. Four three, and it also has six. Oh, so it's a, it's a ten. A, it's a ten three. Yeah, a bit bigger than a four, right? It is, but I was in the middle of counting. I was working out base. You'd already counted it before you decided to attack me. You had the dice there. Uh, oh. Well, can't block, so take ten. Fab. A guild arts and triggers on attack, so I get two more treasures. Oh, I'm the highest life. He's going to attack me to get the treasure. On attack. Should be killing him instead of messing More up. More damage than if it's on attack. I'm in danger. It is. It's another one because of that. Uh, Other two. It, it's it's yeah. not. It, it's it, So this is. Oh, it was an activation. So this is an activation that just does the number. It's not a. So it's still just 10. Just 10. Sorry. Uh, so if that's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And then we'll exile 10 right cards. Out of so you can oh, it's 11. Or permanent. Yeah, it deals nice. an additional one damage. That's why the card's in the deck. So we do 11 exiles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's not bad. It's not bad, but I don't know uh, if I'm going to. Oh, I'm not supposed to look at them because they're in exile. Uh -huh. But I'm away to discard this uh, land to look. Uh, should I kill it? Can you do it? Should. Uh, oh, sorry. It, 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 on the stack. It, it can so yeah, transform in. You... So yeah, you can yeah. you can respond to the. Should I? Shock all nights. Whatever you think. Is the, <laughs> I mean, the, the biggest. Because you already get eleven cards. That's eleven cards are better than this one land in my hand. Uh, yeah. Well, what I'm also not doing is. What What you'll notice is the caliber of the cards is like. Meh. I should. Oh, not you just hit duty. someone for ten. I know, but it's it's not. And it's got a... haste and it's got menace. So if Dean loses a couple of blockers, then you're just. You're if Dean loses yeah. three blockers. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to. Yeah, which could you get there? Target your commander to destroy target. Perfect. I have. Yeah, Dean's lost a blocker. I have sacrificed that. Uh, yep. I don't think I can do anything but that. Uh, this time, Flame War will go to the command zone. Uh, I did. It did not sacrifice. It was destroyed. So Judy got a plus one for sacrificing the chromatic star, and all is right in the world again. Okay, I will pass me. Dean begins the arduous task of hey. going tapping thirty six lands. <laughs> <laughs> I'd love to have that problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one card in hand. 
<laughs> that land that just continues to become an artifact of the age. And you lose that. You lose that. So there's my Phyrexian horror, I'm just dead. <laughs> yeah. Shouldn't have put me down to 12. Yeah, Dean should be swinging. And rightfully, some of it should be coming my way as well. Oh, well, yeah, look, uh, I'll have to send these two at you because obviously we know that Elish Norn's activated. Yep. It's the third yeah. chapter there. Yeah, but then you get more blockers as well. And it's... This is, like I say, I've not got any trample. I've not got any blockers. Uh, yeah, so I can block one, but I die. I'm not That's... activating the other ability. Because I've got nothing uh, I want to sacrifice. You can activate and use it on something of Barry's or Tom's. But I'd need to sacrifice. I would gladly... <laughs> I'll trade this 1-1 one, one for your 20-20. Oh, sorry, we have 21-21 now. Deal. All right, cool, yeah, dead. Well played. Uh, 19. Because of sacrifice, I had to sacrifice the hidden necropolis. Mm, yeah, you did. And I didn't play, didn't play land this turn. Such terrifying wood. Yeah, pass the turn. Nice. And sack. Did you send them both at me? True. Sure. I need to start trying to pick people off one at a time. <laughs> yeah. D despite what I'm doing, Dean, you're still like the threat because you you can one shot people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Of course. Uh, I'm I am scary. I'm, I'm not trying to conflate that, but. We will see. I would have had to send all three of you, Barry. Yeah. And you had two blockers, so it's nothing would have happened. 100%. I would have just left myself open completely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, well, you're open to 10 damage from Flame War. I uh, know he's got. Well, yeah. Yeah. Just, just got now. Menace and Death Touch. But if I want the cards, I need to cast the other side. Well, mind you, no, that's that's untruthful. I can do both. But really, I'm hitting Tom because he's he's on the highest life total, right? That's how it works. You have to you do the greed play, right? You have anything that gives it haste on the. Yeah, the that, oh, that land. This the land gives it haste, does it? Yeah, the land okay. gives it haste. That gives it haste. Oh no! And plus no. X. If only I can cast some more spells. <laughs> Do you? How many have you got? One card in hand. I've got one card in hand. Is it Beast Within? <laughs> Hopefully, it's a fog. Oh, <laughs> um, I mean, fogs are cheap, so it could be. It's just fog. OG fog. Just fog. <laughs> I'm gonna pay two. I'm gonna play Break Through the Line. I can pay a red and target creature power two or less. Gains haste until end of turn. Can't be blocked this turn. Love it. Love it. Love the tech. It's not bad. It's not bad. Are we, are we trying to kill Dean? I don't think I can. Let's chip Barry down a bit then. <laughs> yes. Send all your attackers think... at me. <laughs> I'm going to pay three. I'm going to equip Wildfire Eternal with the Fire Shrieker. That's amazing, Luke. <laughs> For Xeos, can't be allowed to win. It's scripted like a Marvel movie. Then I'm going to pay one to make it unblockable. That's unfortunate. Then I'll pay two to flip everything's power and toughness. Then I'll go to combat. I'm going to swing it at you, Barry. <gasps> so it's a 4-1 double strike unblockable. No, and then I lose four life. Uh, it's got double strike, so you lose eight. Yeah. And then four. 
Uh, I can play an instant oh, no, sorcery from my when, hand. When it becomes blocked, sorry. When it becomes blocked, I'm reading a flicked wrong. Oh, yeah, I flicked is when it becomes blocked. Yeah, and yeah. I can finally pay one and I can play this card from under my Spine Rock Knoll. It's uh, Endoskeleton, which is a very interesting, like, pre equipment equipment. Uh, it's an artifact. You may choose not to untap Endoskeleton during your untap phase. Pay two and tap. Target creature gets zero plus, zero plus three as long as Endoskeleton remains tapped. Which is pretty. Cool. That is. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to tap. Uh, pass. <laughs> okay. On top. Is Phyrexia going to be defeated by the common cold? Uh, no. Let's see. It, it could be. It could be. Uh, on top. Draw for turn. That card's awesome. It doesn't do anything in this current predicament, but it's awesome. Okay. I've been holding on to that break through the line for uh, at least five turns now. Yeah, I'd say that is a very good one. Uh, especially now your commander's out, so it's very cheap to make things big and scary. Yeah. Yes, I, I am worried. I am worried. But... Okay. Is the answer going to be in this 11 stack of 11 cards? <laughs> Will I have enough mana to cast any of them? Stay tuned. <laughs> right, so to cast Flamor on our other side is... She is currently 6. Right. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. I cast her from the graveyard once, or from hand rather, after getting her back from the graveyard. Okay, we will cast the where the meets the eye side of Flamewar. We have cast Flamewar three times. Oh, no, I've done the wrong side round, haven't I? I have. I meant to do it the other way. Uh, I'll tap one more, and I'll cast the other side. Because that's the one that gives me... Yes, that is what exactly what I want to do. Okay. So, for... Yeah. We'll go for three. We'll give... Flame War Haste and a uh, plus X plus O, so plus X is one, two, six, seven, eight, so plus eight plus eight, and then for one, I'm going to discard my hand, activate the ability to discard my hand and put all exiled cards I own with intel counters on them into my hand. So I'm discarding a fanatical offering in the land that you saw. Christ almighty. Sorry, currently reading. It's just drawing insurrection. Oh, I'd be, so, I'd be so happy. Sorry, please give me a moment. I've done that thing where I've drawn 11 cards and I don't know what any of the cards in my deck do. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, right, we're casting that. Okay. Uh, 
Oh, I react to impulse. Let's let, let's not impulse. Let's not be impulsive. Let's not be impulsive, guys. Let's not be impulsive. Right. Can I do anything with this card? Okay. That's not as good as it reads. That's okay. Eh. Uh, Right, right, right. So, Tom, I'm right in thinking you have one mana open. I do. And it costs two mana to do the thingy with your commander. It does. Okay. Yeah. I think... Can we give my stuff trample? Don't think that's how this card, this uh, deck wants to do it. Okay, right, we just gonna have to make some plays rather than sitting here all bloody stream. Sorry, lads. Hey. Can I just have like six more mana for the for reasons? <laughs> right, no, realistically, what do I need to do? Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, sack three treasures. We're going to cast uh, Laureen the Diversion. Uh, partners with Camber the Plunderer. I actually don't know if it's in the deck. I probably sh could have checked that. Uh, but you'll still be allowed to search the library for it. And then if you fail to find you, you can shuffle it, right? It is not in the deck. I've got the deck list. So I won't. I'll, I'll, I'll try and save some time. But you're right, you're absolutely, I could get a free shuffle if I wanted to. Uh, so it's a 3-3 three, three with first strike, uh, and has an activated ability of sac to sacrifice an artifact or creature, goad target creature. That seems relevant. Uh, I haven't played a land for turn, so we're going to play this mountain. And then we're going to go to combat. Do I want to do I want more cards? No. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna go combat and hmm. <laughs> yeah. Uh Tom, we're gonna send Flame War at you. How big is she? She is a uh, what's that? Three 15. and eight is eleven. Twelve. Plus the one. Yes. Well, on on damage, but yeah. Uh, yeah, I went block. Okay. Okay. Uh, no, sorry. Trigger dragons. two, two treasures, so three treasures total. So I take. 12, so I'm down to 8. 12. I don't know. I probably should have been tracking commander damage at this point. But it's all good. Okay, second main phase. I have, I'm on 15 for me, by the I, way. I, saw, so, I yeah. saw that you've been tracking it. That's, that's super helpful. Yeah. Uh, we will sacrifice two treasures. A jury will trigger twice it's three three uh, and we will sacrifice this arcane signet as an additional cost for Laureen uh, Judy triggers again for uh, Dean I would like to go to your commander Uh, and then yeah, we'll 
go, we'll, we'll just tap out. Sack the treasure another two. And we'll sacrifice this collector's vault to goad the, the Hydra as well, D. Okay. Okay, no treasures. That doesn't matter anymore. And then we're going to go to clean up. Yeah, on your end. Yep. Four, five, six, seven. I'm going to cast Hunting Pack with Storm. Storm count is two. So I'm going to create three, four, four green beasts. Nice. Like it. Uh, Storm will be three. Uh, I did Flame War, Lorreen, and then your spell counts as. It says when you cast no, a spell, copy for, for each spell cast before, before, before it. Yeah. I know yeah. how Storm works. Yeah. Shop. So I'll get three. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cards in hand. Need to discard two. So let's discard this and. Uh, so discarding an Evolving Wilds my... and a Restless Vents. I just realised I need to move my scrolls around because I've got the green one up here because it was kind of off camera. Um, and now I've moved my camera. It's very much on camera. What's so on camera? So I've got to shift that. This green wall scroll. <laughs> I used to have my camera here and you could see my black and my blue ones. Gotcha. But now I've got this green one, and I need to sort the black one up there. You are talking about your uh, face cam. I was like, you're, what are you talking about? Yes. Your board looks yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you didn't? Sorry, that was a long turn. On top. Yeah, we'll tap three for a couple of it. <laughs> you might as well. <laughs> yeah, this will come in on top, tapped, and this will come to hand. I'll gain, t I'll gain a life from the land coming in, and then I'll play that land for turn to gain another life. All the way up to 18. 18. Poor Luke, been sat by himself all this time. Try to get, try to give him a friend. You keep giving, gaining life. One, two, three, four, oh, sorry, Amy. Six, <laughs> Turn on channel points, and I'll give you six mana. I appreciate you. You're such a sweetheart. Uh, these are all 22 22s. Nice. Meep. These two are goaded. Yeah, Barry will send the forest to you and Tom the two 22 22s. Yep. The two big ones. I'll block with these two. No one will be surprised to hear that this construct will be going in front of. I feel like it's not f functionally for the game a sacrifice, but let's be real, this is a sacrifice. Or actually, does does that... Uh, actually, perhaps... Nah, shut up, buddy. One one's going in front of it. the block to that and then threw the damage at <laughs> I could have and I was I was really thinking about it okay I really was thinking about it I'll pass oh god can I do something <laughs> No, I can't. Uh, I guess I'll just try and help someone out because I'm definitely dead next time. I would like to be helped of... out. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to tap to we're going to tap endoskeleton to give this plus zero plus three. I'm going to tap three. I'm going to play Raid Bombardment. Come on, that was tapped. Come on, spell table. 
And I'll tap one, I'll give this um take them by the ball. I'll do it again. I'll give him an Ichi haste and unblockable. Now I'll tap two and I'll flip everything. I will send the Wildfire Eternal at Dean and I'll send Manichi self pass. They're both unblockable. Yeah. So you'll both take one each from the raid bombardment. Yes. No, no, because I flipped it before combat. Ignore that. Ignore me. That was that was a dumbass move. I'm getting sleepy, that's why. Okay. Uh, so, Dean has a 4-1 double strike. Bass, you've got a 2-1 two, uh, two one. Yeah, I won't be blocking before damage. Yep. Down to 10. And that's me. Down to 18. We're going down. <laughs> I mean, that's how, it's like, that's how it has to go. Yeah. My turn. I didn't draw something good. Yeah, pass. On top. Draw. Let's see if I draw anything good. That ain't it. I also realize I've got... I... I cast something that cared about power stones ages ago and I forgot to make them. Maybe. maybe yeah, it was not. two tapped power stones. Two tapped power stones from Brothers War. It's fine. I forgot it. Hi, YouTube comments. I remembered. Uh, but we've gone this far without them, so we will not. How do we, how do we survive? Eight, eight and ten. And Tom, you have no blockers right now. Ah, I'm open. But Dean, you have twelve, and then it just makes it not make sense to go shields down. Does not make sense to go shield down. Okay. I think I need a monster. Yeah. I'm feeling it now. I, 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 I yeah. yeah. Right. We're going to play this Hall of Tagsin as land, which is why I remembered about the Power Stones. I was like, oh, yeah. Power stones are a thing. Right. I think we. So we'll tap. We'll tap two, one of them black. Yeah, we'll cast <coughs> this uh, mephitic draw draft. Uh, artifact, when it enters the battlefield or is put into a graveyard, uh, you draw a card and use a life. So I'll lose one, go down to 17, and draw a card. Just trying to get some sacrifice fodder for Loreen. So we'll go one. Right. Do I have anything that cares about ETBs? No. Okay. Uh, I'll play this Tarian Soul Cleaver. Uh, it's a one mana legendary artifact. It says, Equip creature has vigilance, and whenever another artifact or creature is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, put a 1 1 counter on equipped creature. Uh, we'll go 
two. I'm gonna cast slow ball, slow bad goblin tinkerer. I sacrifice an artifact. Target artifact gains indestructible until end of turn. Now we need count mana. We go three, and we'll cast a Farid Enterprising Salvager. Uh, whenever a non-token artifact I control is put into a graveyard from the ba battlefield, create a colorless artifact token named Scrap. Uh, one on a red, sacrifice an artifact, choose one, put a 1-1 one, one, uh, counter on Farid, it gains Menace, uh, go to target creature or discard a card, then draw a card. Dean's on the highest life total. Dean will get me treasure if I attack him. And I need to go many things, not to die to big things. You could have goaded my board. I, before you started tapping and then I, I, I would have uh, passed and then you would have won on your turn. Uh, <laughs> maybe, but it would require like, sacrificing everything I have because I need to <laughs> sacrifice stuff. So I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, but maybe, maybe I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I mean, I could have drew something. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're not doing that. So we'll do that. Uh, so we'll tap to, uh, and we're gonna sacrifice this mythic draft with Lorene's ability. Uh, so which will cause me to lose a life and draw a card. So I go to 16. A Farid Salvager will see that happening and will create a scrap token. A anything else? A Judy will also see it. We'll go for five. A go target creature. A Dean, I'm going to go to your commander. Uh, right. We will go to sacrifice the scrap token uh, to Lorene's ability. Uh, Judy sees the sacrifice, gets a counter. Go target creature. Dean, I'm going to go your Hydra. Uh, I make a scrap token because of Farid. Uh, I think that's. Oh man, I wish I wish I had mana to cast more cards. <laughs> uh, go to combat. I'm gonna send Flame War at you, Dean. Uh, trigger Girl oh. Dial is an. Does it have menace or anything? It does not. So not have death touch in there. It doesn't on this side. No, not on the front. All oh, right, okay. Motorbikes have got death touch. Motorbikes are indeed very deadly. Uh, and the ability to turn it into that is sorcery speed, so I can't do it in combat. Uh, they do that thing where they go up on the back wheel and they like rub the front wheel against your face while, they're, while it's moving. Giggity. Uh, that's great. <laughs> so I'm going to sacrifice both the treasures. Uh, to create to sacrifice flame war to Lorene's ability and I'll go to your big land uh, past another scrap is created because Farid sees it being sacrificed uh, Judy sees three things getting sacrificed the two treasures plus the artifact so Judy goes up to that's me done <laughs> Sorry. 
flame war. How big? How big is it now? Uh, I am a sausage, actually. Can I take that back? I think you, I think you can Sorry. kill uh, Dean and Thingy, can't you? I'm going to use one of the scrap tokens with Slowbad to sacrifice it, make it indestructible. There we go. That's what I meant to do. Which will uh, you'll get a plus one jury. So oh, this is isn't. Out. This isn't. Uh, it's still it's still just a three two, uh, and this does not have vigilance, so it is. So it this all, isn't goaded anymore. Oh, you're. That's a really good point. Uh, it is because I've sacrificed enough scrap instead. You sacrificed the scrap to make it indestructible. That's true. Okay, we'll do the soul reaver then. There we go. So uh, <laughs> every, everything's the same. Yeah. Uh, deals. Mechanized right. Warfare deals one extra, so uh, Flame Wars hitting for four. Yeah. One beast dies. Hoofed. I, th I think we go second main and then pass the turn. God, I'm working hard for it tonight. Don't tell me. <laughs> Sweating. Four for a harmonize. Love a harmonize. Oh, what's that? Draw three. Draw three. 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 Four mana, three cards is a great rate. You got all that mana, you might as well. Uh, play land. Life. Goes to 11. Uh, tap two for a mind stone. Pay one to sacrifice mine, so to draw a card. Uh, play Necroblossom Snarl as my second land, gain life. Clawing it back. <laughs> What's Jury on? 11. Judy is 11. Yeah. And not an artifact, so I can't uh, sacrifice it or Two. give it. 3 4 Rise of the Witch King. Each player sacrifices a creature. Oh. <laughs> if you sacrifice a creature this way, you may return another target permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Bye, Tom. Uh, uh, yeah, I'll choose to. I was already dead. Sack Judy. Uh, Dean, I'll, I'll deal 11 to you. A beast, I think. Oh, if only I had one damage. Oh, actually, I uh, You'll do twelve because mechanized. You're sorry, mechanized warfare. Judy's a red. No, oh, I won't do that then. <laughs> 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 sorry, I keep forgetting. I should be better at announcing that. So we'll go back up. <laughs> yeah, go to combat. I'll send these at you, Tom, and I'll send these two four fours at you. Yeah. That's it. Okay. Uh, I will block with block them with block one of them with Judy. And I'll tap that and I'll cast Rise of the Witch King. Oops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Go I'm dying on your own terms. Uh, yeah, same story. I'll sacrifice Judy. That's 12. Is there any creature that gives me life? <laughs> That's it. Dead. GG's. GGs. Oh. That is done. GGs. That is it, in fact. And Dean was exact C's, which is a little bit satisfying. Good game. Oh my goodness. Josh, we did it. Hey, Lackness. <laughs> How you doing? 
you tuned in just at the right time. Uh, yeah, GG's, GG's all. GG's, guys. I am knackered after that. The next time we play, if someone doesn't win by turn six, we should all just concede. Are we just getting ridiculous? Start playing CDH. Like three, three hour games. <laughs> yeah, I'll bring some past the next fifty one. minutes again. Two and a half. Yeah, I well mean, played. yeah, the, the game's only gone on for. It's not too bad. You're right though. That was a long one. But folk will try and stay alive. Oof, Tom. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Really enjoyed Any what I saw of your deck. Any that was time. very, very Thank you for funky. Thank you for letting me play my janky deck. Um yeah, Always. I do do enjoy it. But no, thanks for thanks for having me on. Yeah, it's a pleasure cool. to be on here. Yeah, and next time we'll be playing in person, so I know. Unless next week's guest cancels. <laughs> <laughs> You got me on yeah. speed doll now, yeah. Although, specific, I should be clear. Uh, Mars did not cancel. They're unfortunately ill. But yes, it's it's good, but it's great to know that there's creators uh, in the wings ready to jump in. Uh, it, it means a lot, and it gives us a lot of confidence to kind of push forward. Because uh, the I, I was going to be dramatic and say like the death of a creator, is, a streamer, is missing multiple stream dates, and then folks start getting bored and not turning up but we're very we have a very loyal audience so that's thankfully not the case for us because yeah i'll be best. to jump in whenever you need me so yeah but I yes let's, let's get I a had, game in at, uh, yeah definitely <laughs> oh. i had 10 land cards left if oh anybody wow who's interested <laughs> <laughs> you love land decks <laughs> absolutely it's... is your favorite just a little bit <laughs> but it shows though like, it's a uh, really powerful i liked uh old man weather just i was like okay play lots of forests and swamps attack like i said just before i came people. on i've got i've got a pile of cards for updating it just oh yeah it's gonna be stupid when you it's there. just not everything gives trample <laughs> or <hence. laughs> yeah i'll bring something a bit a bit faster at uh command fest luke don't worry no, I know. It's, it's, it's not your fault. Game, no. no, it's not your fault. It's just the nature of the game. Removal <laughs> happens. Oh, no, but nobody wants a three hour game at Command First, anyway. Oh, layer yeah, removal. You only get him in. <laughs> oh, so I'm, I'm just bringing Heliod to CEDH. Nice. Every game's going to be three hours. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> just all stacks all the time. All stacks all, all the time. <laughs> Yeah, well, there's a there's a competitive event for uh, Commander, so I'm, I'm I'm considering entering it, depending on like timings with the creator stuff. I think that might be quite fun. But yes, uh, well, so you've got the debt bill for it. I do. By golly, I, I got a brand a brand spanking new card for it today. I can't wait. Uh, where is it? Oh no, I've tidied there's been it away. a lot of clue support recently. Nah, oh, no, I've got none of that rubbish. Trouble I've got two pairs. cards for you here, Baz. Ooh. Oh, is that my uses? That's, that's so good. Yeah, yeah. I have yet to finish the rest <gasps> of that deck. <laughs> I mean, no, I'm excited, Very excited to, to see him. No, that's uh, yes. You, you've gone the extra mile, Tom. So I'm, I'm excited to see what you've what you've done for it. Yeah. I'm, I'm really, I'm really pleased with them. So hopefully, hopefully you like them. I'm sure you will. Good. Oh, I'm I'll bring my I'll bring my six Lord of the Rings decks with me to Birmingham. <laughs> we'll have the Hobbit, the Battle of the Five Armies, Return of the King, like yeah. one for each film. The thing is, like if you if you let me borrow one, I, I, I'm more than happy to play it. We can get a pod of your decks. Oh, I could bring Sheila. We could have a full Lord of the Rings game. I like it. I like it. I like it. I still know what I'm taking. I'm, I'm so. Oh. I'm not sure. I know. I know. I'm bringing the slimes deck that I'm currently building. My Tivit CDH. Probably. Uh, I'm working on quite a naughty Esper list for like if anyone wants to do like high power casual. Uh, and then, yeah, I'm not sure what else I'm to bring. To be perfectly honest. Wait, wait to push push yourself there, Baz. 
<laughs> S, for, mean? S for CDH, S for high power casual. <laughs> I'm sorry, am I, not allowed to, am I not allowed to play play decks that nah, I like? Nah, man, he, he uh, the, so it's, I've deconstructed, well I haven't, but the, the plan is I've deconstructed Ishai uh, and I'm going to build Ishai Teversat. So it's going to be a oh, pro proliferate gosh. deck. It's going to be awful. But I'm going to enjoy playing it. But specifically in high power pods. So we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm trying, I'm I'm trying to take a deck for every occasion. And yeah. it's, it's so hard. Yeah. I'm also trying not to take too many decks. Because we're going to be logging around equipment and creating content. So I'm probably only bringing like five decks. Um, yeah, I'm quite lucky that I could pro I could potentially drive home on lunch and and you know I could be back within 40 minutes with new decks if I need to. So nice. Well, what you you, the joys you volunteer to be the caddy the caddy for all the the decks for everybody. <laughs> like you can take as many decks as you want and just store them in the boot of the car. And you can change them out. True. Or I did that for every event I've been to. It's been the, awful. The I, That's true. I've had like 12 decks in the boot. <laughs> Yeah, I could just vision just sitting down to go and play. It's like, what you want to play? And it's like, all right, give me 10 minutes. Let's go back to the car and get that deck. I want to play that one now. <laughs> it's always difficult to match things, isn't it? So having that option is always good. Whereas you won't have that in Amsterdam because limitations with luggage and stuff. Definitely. No, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm specifically bringing decks I really want to play. And then if I end up in pods that, I don't quite have decks for I think I'll just ask people to borrow rather than trying to bring everything because yeah like the amount, of, the amount of camera gear and stuff it's just we'll see I need to I need to chat to yeah. Alex at Axion to see what the plan is for storing gear and stuff more things on my to-do list excellent <laughs> well folks it has been a particularly long one tonight. I need to go and do adulting. Uh, but Tom, could you give us a, a lovely outro of yourself and tell the good people where we can find you? You can find me over Fiend with an X everywhere. Uh, FWBMTG on Twitch. We're doing a stream on Wednesday with Cryptic uh, and a couple of my other friends. Uh, and the Magic Castles podcast, the new episode will be up next Thursday, I believe, a week today. Touchwood, uh, we're recording this weekend, so yeah, go and give give the first episode a listen as well, please. So yeah, Magic Castles pod on Twitter, Love and you get it everywhere. It's on Spotify, it's on YouTube, it's on Apple, it's on. I've I've seen so many weird, uh, so many names of weird podcasting platforms that I don't know if anyone uses, but we've we've got it on there, so it's on everywhere. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's the... oh, yeah. Thanks again for having me on. Always, always a pleasure. No, thank, and thank you again for dropping in at the last minute to to help us out. We really appreciate it. And last That's bit of housekeeping, one. folks. We have our community day on Sunday. Uh, there are still some uh, spots available if you want to come and join us live. Uh, you're anyone is welcome to do so. Members get priority, uh, but members have also had two or three weeks to get their spot so it's all for the taking guys so if you want to come and play with us on sunday please do so uh probably should announce that on social media as well so people know to come but yeah we're gonna play some games of magic and then we're gonna play some games of probably among us or something similar uh, at the end of the night so we will see how it goes uh, yes lackness you need to get involved i see you getting excited so, folks, that is going to wrap it up for tonight. And the oh, no, last bit of housekeeping. Who's on next week? Next week Me. is... Surprise! <laughs> Steen. <laughs> uh, so, end, end of the month, it is the Dominator MTG. Uh, Dom's joining us for Commander Shenanigans. So, that'll be a really good one. Uh, Dom was originally supposed to guest back when we did a Doctor Who special. Uh, so they've been waiting uh, an awfully long time to come on the stream so looking forward to having Dom on uh, who's the co-host of the yet to be named podcast We're getting all the podcasters on this month uh, another excellent also a very good podcast. MTG I recommend podcast. you go and give them a listen as well <laughs> definitely definitely and that's right get your get your channel points ready for that folks 
thank you for the pr the prompt, Chrono. So, with that in mind, we'll raid so we can get some extra channel points for everybody, and then we'll be calling it a night. So, folks, thank you so much for giving us your eyeballs and your time. If you've got this far and you haven't dropped a follow or a like on YouTube, please do. I think we I think we've earned it with a three and a half hour bad boy tonight. Yeah, I certainly feel tired. Don't know how everyone else is feeling. <laughs> I had a kind of monster. They had a kind of monster. I'm well, you're a bit out then. <laughs> <laughs> I think what we'll do, shall we? Let's go. You know what? Let's throw Voxy some love. We've not raided Voxy in a while. So that's what we'll do. Folks, you've been lovely. Thank you so much for joining us. And we'll see you next week for some Commander shenanigans. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.